Welcome one, welcome all. We're back with the NJC AAE Grand Finals. It's Nova, Northern Virginia Community College versus Wake Tech Community College. We got a banger best of three for you today, and I'm joined here by the one and only Catinator 3K. How you doing? I'm doing so good. Always a pleasure to get on the desk with you, Tristan Cass. And always a pleasure to walk through yet another Valorant Grand Finals, a collegiate season. It's wrapping up. These players have made it all the way through. These community college, these technical institutes have been battling it out here in the NJCAAE. And it all comes down to these two teams. We've got Wave Tech 8 and 1 on the season. We've got a 9 0, a perfect run for Northern Virginia. And we'll see what this run here in Grand Finals is going to lead us to in terms of the maps. Absolutely, absolutely. As we get those onto the screen for you, we're going to be leading in with Ascent. The next map on the board, we're going to have Bind for you. And the Decider, the Decider, if it does come down to it, will be Haven. That is a fun lineup right there. I love seeing maps like Ascent and Bind back to back just because of the different feel of them. Ascent is so much more uh, early utility focus, mm. while Bind can just be an, an all around ridiculous fragging map. You just get to see a lot of uh, crazy highlight clips there. I can't wait to get into it, especially with Nova just being such a dominant force in the collegiate scene. They do such a good job of just making sure they have all the tools they need to get these consistent Ws. And I feel like every time I'm casting over uh, an NJC AAE tournament, it's Nova at the top. So we'll see if they can continue it. They're winning ways. Let's see if they can. They have the recipe for success, the formula. And uh, Catinator, do you, do you have any spicy picks you'd like to see in any of these maps? I feel like I feel like you, there's a lot of uh, hot takes when it comes to the uh, pick ban uh, select right now. Or I, I shouldn't say pick ban. That's League of Legends. It's just pick select. Tristan, I think no one is gonna play Jet. We're on patch 4.08. They, they bodied her with the dash. She's she's not gonna be good. It, it takes you have to hit two buttons instead of one. It's extra work. Okay. You burn the dash sometimes. No, I'm kidding. Uh, nothing changes. To be honest with you, Tristan, nothing changes. Uh. There were a couple different nerfs. We saw one to Neon. Ah, oh, no one's playing Neon anyway except for Fracture, so not really oh. a big deal. Uh, we got the Jet nerf. Ah, you have to think a little bit about your dash. That's terrible. Sova Drone. Uh, that is the biggest nerf coming through. Uh, it only oh. once you dart with that drone, it only has two pulses instead of the third, so less time to know where that player is going to be. It's also a hundred health on the drone instead of one twenty-five, but that thing could still tank a couple of bullets. Not a whole clip now, but about three-fourths of the clip so you get a little bit of less value with that but overall honestly since they didn't change that Sova animation things still work the same lineup Larry still having just as much fun on the post plan as they were before if anything I think these changes really brought everything into tune it, it doesn't feel off things don't feel any different to be honest things just feel a little bit more comfortable I think you get a little bit of room now to choose different initiators like if you don't want to play Sova you have that option but as we jump into agent select we'll see where they want to go but Tristan, I wouldn't be shocked to see it strictly on Metacom still. I am a Sova one, Tristan. Never mind! These, these nerfs hit Never a lot mind. than people might realize. The, the nerfs were actually more extensive. The drone has a lot less time on it, so you actually don't get to sweep out nearly as much of the site anymore. And the shock darts were also nerfed pretty heavily, whereas if you hit direct impact, it's only 75 damage. So yep. Sova definitely it's got hit hard with this last patch. He is not quite the same uh, um, uh, initiator menace that he was before, so... Uh, of course, uh, a map like Ascent, Sova still has a lot of value. This is one of the, the agent's best maps, so you're probably going to see it picked, uh, picked still pretty consistently here. But I wouldn't be surprised to see some of the other maps uh, just not see uh, you know the same kind of Sova dominance we've seen thus far. Tristan, now, I know you see that. A potential Breach here. Now, I've, I've been recently interested in Breach on Ascent, and as it turns out, there's a lot of teams that have 100% win, win rate when they pick the Breach on Ascent and the there is no mirror match on the other side. So this is actually something to be uh, watched for on Nova. I believe they they uh they have a really high win rate with this Breach as well. Tristan, I know you yes. see that. I know you see that. It's not even an elephant in the room. It's, it's a dang T-Rex. I know you see her. Do I? The, the Astra? Yeah, I, I know you see her. Okay, okay. I just want to make sure <laughs> on the same page here. Yeah. I mean, Astra... I like it. I Astra. like it a lot. Not not nearly enough. Um, So when we got back to 4.04 two months ago, woo, go back in your mind. Um, We got that Astra nerf. We got the Viper nerf. Cooldown times being the big issue there. 
At Masters, we saw a 60% pick rate for Viper Astra in terms of double controller because these agents Jeez. are still really dang good, but only when you're playing them with each other. I think the Astra still has immense value in terms of her ability to play defense on maps, especially maps like Ascent and Haven. Those are maps where she still really shines. You get that mid map or that full map presence, being able to come through that astral form and get the entire map at your disposal very quickly. The only thing is you have to be a lot smarter about when you're playing those Astro stars. You only have four. The cooldowns are forever if you had to pick up a star. So you have to think a lot harder about it. But a lot of these teams don't know how to play against Astra anymore, and she really can't control the pacing. That's on the defensive end, though. Nova starting on the offense. They've gotta find some sort of creatives here to make this controller work because they're not going to be able to play as fast as they were they would with an omen having quick dark covers having quick paranoia to get into sight well 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 if it isn't line of larry himself already with the quick one going back to this gen they're trying to rush onto this a side as quick as possible but that pop flash really disrupts them they want to get through oh. this door but the spam coming through it's already got a second kill look at the hp bars though it's ever so low they try and aggress even further it could be risky but they get another 4v2 now, the numbers are in their advantage, and the bomb being picked up just won't happen. It's headshot after headshot. Pichu lets himself be known in this first round. It's 1-0. to zero. Wake Tech come out the gate swinging. Yeah, it takes just a little bit too much time there if you're Nova. You're kind of feeling things out. By the time you finally make the decision to go out that dark cover, it's just a little bit too late. The rotations have already come through. Wake Tech have three to door for the even out to sight, and by that point, it's just too late. Nothing's going to happen on that one. Wake, Wake Tech, the only way they can really lose that round is miss the shots, and well, they did not miss anything. Came through, hit the shots, made it happen. The first pick comes out of Scaffold. Pichu gets the job done, coming through door as well. And that Shock Bolt does a little bit of damage, disrupts, creates chaos for the offense, and nothing gets done. Just go around the R in that eco. So just going to come back to A. Going to try yet again. And so that slow default, that slow scale up Gelato once more. Yeah, definitely a really valuable pop flash to buy a lot of time on that initiation there. Really stalled them out when they were trying to get through the gates and... Kind of the worst place to be if you uh, if you can't get out of sight. It's really a no man's land situation. But with that knife, they're going to establish That's quite three. a bit of information. At least three being seen on that. You can see all these rotations coming accordingly. Nova wisely backing off, though. They want no part in a, a potentially stacked site. Mm. Wait, that kind of mirroring their movements throughout the map, pulling off of this A stack. Let's see where this rehit goes. They scaled up cat. They've gotten space fountain. No info peak gonna come through just yet. It's an omen in mid, so it's not an easy info peak either. You have to do work to get to it, and the work gets done. Try to step to get away out of pizza. Scan by zero point, but a little too late as they're gonna get through for the suppression is had. And now stuck towards mid. You get that space up towards pizza, oh, nice up towards market, but it's not for free. Arch to find 175 damage, more than enough to take beefy. <laughs> Spooky to walk around. He's picked up one, looking for a second, and we'll have it. Out of cat to pick up two. That spike down as well. And that's player B main just gonna get ran into. Pichu has that one to wrap it up. So the rifles get the value there on the bonus round. You get to take them into now your anti-bonus opportunity. And you got a good chance of this one, to be honest. Yeah, great start. Uh very clean second round as well. Flawless is always something you're really happy to see. There's always that danger of losing too many rifles and putting yourself in a bad economic situation, but Having that extra little boost to the money bags early on. We'll see how much damage they're able to do on this eco round. And Nova did force up on a few of their members. So you can see the light armor coming out. Not really a complete force up, but just enough to uh, hurt the pocketbooks. Just enough. We'll see if it actually comes into play with this round. If any, uh, any fights come down to that extra 25. Same old, same old here. Once again, that scale comes through Gelato. One way going to be in the wake right now, and it will fade. So the start to scale continues up towards Archway now and making space. Looking to go wine right now. Beefy will sit on that lurk. Of course, the chamber player, the one who should be. Dark cover has negated that though, so no look towards mid. We have to go through main. If they get information on this Killjoy, they know that there is no utility actually onto Cat, but it will be two players taking that space. So Wake Tech. A little, bit, a little bit of a mix-up on the defense, but a good mix-up, to be honest, because they very much accounted for it. Once again, Zero Point has caught three. Same exact start to the last three rounds. Yeah, really just slow and methodical right now. I really like this, actually. Just oh, making, it, making them that. really doubt where they should be looking. Oh, he knows, too. You see the pause from Reef? He said, I, I know how big that pick is. I get that pick. I kill the Killjoy. I kill that utility. They have to rotate to it. So that pick hasn't come through. It hasn't opened any space. So you see nobody's moved for Wake Tech because they have no reason to. 
Beefy's gonna come through Cat. Does recognize the Five fact seconds. that Killjoy is gonna be on B, so has this opportunity. Totem set up to see through this right corner. Does! Oh, Beefy Ooh. hating. Hating how this round has persuaded for them. That's only to have that one shot to come through door, but it's everybody here. The defense hasn't had a reason to move. Very time to come through mid, but it's just a little bit too late. Nothing to be done. Five seconds. You walk away, try to get the rifle at the round. Yeah, just not not really biting. Wake Tech, very solid uh, cohesion there. Very disciplined. Especially after, after Beefy uh, showed so much presence towards B main, walked so far advanced. The fact that they didn't, didn't care to rotate the team at all, they called the bluff. It works out perfectly. Wake Tech getting a convincing bonus round, and oh man, this is about to look real sweet for them as this money keeps piling up. The rich get richer. Oh, we see Nova kind of just on a, a food stamp buy here. Pistols, uh, <laughs> light armor at best. It's, it's not a good time. Not nah, certainly not a good time. I mean... If you play we'll the cards the right, you can get like some peanut butter out, you know, get some graham crackers, start to make some things happen. And listen, that's not a, that's not too bad of a struggle. I mean, I'll speak from that experience. Uh, so towards B main, it's uh, it's the turret in the presence, and we're gonna walk right through it. No reason not to. Contact execute to come mm. through. Arsh will pick up one through that dark cover. Just got the read, like a book, if you will. Stagger up close CT. He's looking to swing this drone, and well, he'll get swung Ooh. out the round. Sip has that one, knocks out the home run. Beefy. To take one in the meantime, who's a trade? They get to sight, they get plant oh. down. Eco's got its value, just won a couple frags. Really good, really good shot there coming out there. I love that Wake Tech. Oh! I mean, look no, at Wake Tech. They're doing so well. It's nearly a flawless so far. Maybe Wills can get one or two at the back of the site. Just not gonna happen. He gets gunned down. They're playing so well on the side of Wake Tech right now. I love they give up the site there. They don't risk dropping any guns, even though they could go for a multi-frag on the entry. Instead, Arsh just backs off, uses his utility to the best of it. I mean, those shot darts were right on the money as well. Mm -hmm. Nerf or no nerf, those are going to hurt. Should change the animation. Should have changed it. <laughs> Unbelievable. UI lineups are just too crazy. Beefy whiffs the jump going towards lane. <laughs> Unlucky, really. Pichu walks out, does their due diligence, and true duels getting the value. Chilling on turns of eco if you're wake tech. If you're Nova, you need this round, and you need it confidently. You need all the weapons to stay alive as well. Once again, they are back to A main, back to their roots, and this is a neat early to your point coming out. Oh my goodness, I just spotted five. What's up, gang? Wow. I mean, that just, look at the B players. Look how quickly they're, they're, they're moving forward on B now. Yeah, they're going to take mid, too. Like, it almost feels like they have to go out A here now. It's like, almost not a choice, which they may kind of get out stop free here. As it looks like they're, oh, look at the spam. This could be so devastating. Omen gets two. Pichu gets one with a headshot as well. It's his first death of the game, but he won't mind that one bit. Staggers the last man alive. Does take a fair bit of damage moving on to the site. And I mean, at some point, he's going to have to get the bomb down. The, the door's already gone. He's getting One bullet? Here. All he needs? Yeah. I, uh, Not all he needs? I don't know about that one. My bad. He checks will clean up the round. 5-0. to zero. Wake Tech. I mean, you you would not be mistaken for considering them a pretty hefty underdog going into this matchup. I mean, Nova's having a perfect season. Nova's kind of kind of the, uh, the Alabama of the, uh, if we're talking about, like, College football here. Sweet. Oh. The NJC AAE. College football. Just that that omnipresent dominant force in the scene, but mm, 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 mm. right now Wake Tech is really making a case for themselves. You want to play? Let's play. Bike left in spawn. We get a new default from Nova. This time around they'll spot one with this zero point. They've already said. It's time to rotate. We go head over to B. Beefy's picked up one, getting out to mid. That's the cat player gone. This is a rifle, but can't really recover. It's just a little bit too far away. Rotation has come back. The KO of Sif yet again will be towards scaffolding. No, but they've got that first pick. Haven't got the space off it just yet, though. They have scaled up a main, but that's about all she wrote for them right now. With that pistol, it's not going to be easy to solo take sight if you are that so, but... Beefy getting them quite a bit of space here mid just by himself, but it's going to be really difficult for him to draw rotations unless he breaks that Killjoy utility. They can always just assume their B side is safe, their uh, mid market is safe. Although, as he starts to move forward here, Nova suddenly has Shoot to start paying more attention to their surroundings. And then a swarm combination come through with the alarm bot assault for a bit of time. They still are going to get there though. Astro started to come up. We'll smoke that cross. 
He said it's gonna be open. Oh, okay. oh, Beefy will get back in the angle, find the frag. He said it's gonna be wide open too, so they're welcome to play this one. Once again, that's a rifle that's unrecoverable. They still have that tour de force to work off, and from the shadow is gonna come through to get them outside of B main. There is going to be trades ready and waiting, so you can't get out without getting marked. Try to step over them, actually. We'll get hurt by the sofa, but it does not matter if you're hitting the shot. So Nunu going to fall. Throw that cosmic divide down. It's all for a bit of time, and they're going to run straight through this thing. Ooh, perfect blind up speedway. Going to try and stall if you're staggering here, but what does he know? He's got some contestants on the backside who hit three already. Wilt is the last man standing. It's a 1v2, but that quick headshot with the sheriff. He has one more to find, and he's so close to doing it. The bomb pressure is on the omen here as well. Suppressed now. There's no shadow steps. Instead, he decides to cut noise. He goes for it and wilts with a quick shot. Decapitates him with the sheriff. And it's a thrifty that actually wins him their first round on the side of Nova. All right, that's it. Only sheriffs for the rest of the game, folks. There's just no need. There's no need for rifles. The sheriff shots come out in waves. That Cosmic Divide makes him have to play forward with that utility. Other than Lulkman, they can pop there too, but... Wilson knows better, says, oh, I'm going to hit the shots. Don't even worry about it. And hits the shots indeed. Sauce for time, playing that over-under angle to the back of side. And Pete just can't win that one out, so he'll go down. And Well, Nova, they went around playing off of that segment of default. This time they said, we're going back to the old ways. They're back to A-Long yet again. I'll just ready to come through. Uh, gets one. Okay, okay, one tag, one tag. And that's a new player as well, so they know that there is going to be two there. They didn't have anything... Other than one on that zero point, so at the very least, they know there's got to be two present. There's a Sova and a KO here, A-Long, not just the KO originally spotted. Yeah, I mean, it, aiming that aiming that Hunter Fury slightly higher has the potential of hitting several more like members, four, but yeah. slightly misaligned there. Um, they're at least going to get a tag there, soften up one to 80. Sif doesn't want any part of this initial push, he'll just be waiting in the smoke, but man, he is eating a lot of control right now. Wilt gets put down immediately, this fancy smoke is in such a nuisance right now. Pichu's got a second, he oh. wants a third and he'll take it. Free gun, by the way, 15 HP, oh. and he's still a menace, three on the round. On the they round. won't be reviving Wilt well. at all today, that's the fourth. Omen just chimes in, with all he has to do is a single, he has an easy job on the A site that time around, thanks to Pichu, who is an absolute maniac so far this game. Jet nerfed, by the way. Can't beat this team on speed. They're going to hit the shots. They've proven that pretty consistently. That slow default on the eco is what, is what wins them that first round. Immediately, they come back to a long say, let's, let's do it again. And it just does not work out. Like you, You've got to play slow against this team. You've got to get space made, especially towards mid. That's what won in the B round. They got that B split. They picked up one CT. They were to get there. They cut off that rotate early to guarantee that they actually had the opportunity to plant and then set up the post plant too. They can't contact execute this team. It's not going to work. But they'll try yet again. This is the ego. So this round is just kind of going to be what it is. One will be close garden. P10 has been good for two. Pretty much every round they've gone A. Paranoia to tag one. Yeah, it was also a, a double-edged sword that Will won, Wilt, uh, won that clutch. He was the only man left standing and reset their loss bonus. The fact that he lost the uh, following round really put him an economic standstill. Three on the round. And Pichu has been so consistent. Great flash. This guy is impossible to remove. That being said, Stagger does a pretty good job of it this round. No. The knife, don't do it. Oh, that was, that was nearly a brutal execution. I mean, it was regardless, but it doesn't get any more dishonorable than taking a knife to the back. No, most certainly not. The jet KO combination to go through a long. Make that context to start towards Cata. Pop Flash comes out from Sif and allows for Pichu to swing, grab two, and then grabs a third off the dry. Pichu just wants a little bit more. Was that jet window, that jet dash window activated? Able to tailwind away as well towards site. And by the rest of the team has that cleanup. So Wake Tech looking at a 7 1 scoreline. Eco still more than goaded. Very time going to go for the rifle into this round of utility. It means no oh, armor. Dude, what a lineup. Nerd. For the double shock bolt does not find anyone but if it had well uh 75 plus 75 would have been the kill huh. would have to been some very uh very on the money targeting there each you just falling back for now a lot of mid presence being shown nova given a different look this time around oh Pichu just trying to jump spot there 
Has to be nervous. A whole lot of spam coming through. That's one thing Waytech's been doing so well. Spam is so underrated when it comes to uh, trying to trying to do a lot of chip damage when they enter a bomb site. And mm. Waytech has been uh, finding a lot of frags in the entry from the A site just by spamming through that smoke on tree. Tuck deep, spooky checks. First time he's been this deep. Turn deeper as well, so I wonder if Nova's able to read that he's gone up to the upgraded position. No oh, the check. Read or not, 3K no. for checks. Looking for one more buried time. We'll trade that one out. And they have no armor at all, so there we go. There's the headshot to come through. PG to take that one off the trade. They try to make their way out of B main. And Beefy left in a 1v4. Stuck towards mid-market. That smoke is going to get walked through by the jet. And PG will pick it up. Instant trade to come forward. As if falls, 8-1. Is your scoreline as Wake Tech continue this reign of dominance? Nova Eco broken yet again. Oh goodness, Pichu is absolutely bananas. I mean, 17 and four over nine rounds. This guy is unbelievable with what he's been doing so far here. Of course, have to give credit to the rest of Wake Tech. They are also performing fantastic in their own right. Feels like everyone has had their own individual impact on every round. But Pichu is far and away the star of the show at the moment. Early pressure being sent towards B here. And it looks like they're just willing to let him have it on the side of Wake Tech. They're just evacuating site right now. Feels like utility will give them a little bit of stalling. Oh, that's a big that's a big dart right there, though. And Arsh again with the chip damage. Again with the spam. 41 HP on berry time. Does have the rifle as well, so take, taking him out of the round would be huge. See how quick Pichu is to get up so close to the site. There is one player behind them though, has one, not before Spooky Checks covers for his teammate. Dip gets put down. Beefy gets a second with a headshot, but Spooky Checks is here. The spray transfer to see a blue in the kill feed, and Wake Tech is back to their winning ways. Nine to one now. They really close in on this half with the clamps. What a good teammate. Try again. Giving Sif the defuse. There's no possible way that he can. He gets his ult again, though. Yeah. Graph, right? I right? was just thinking that. <laughs> I don't think I mean, enough, I, uh, I want to say rounds. there's no way, but I, I feel like there's a way. It's the problem. You'd have to go absolutely bonkers. And somehow, I think if when Pichu is on the map, Pichu's just going to be a, a bit quicker getting to some of these kills. But I would agree. I mean, at the same time, you're probably not reaching any of the other ults anyways. Um, Arch yeah. is pretty far off. Uh, Pichu is not really close, nor does he need it because he has so much money. So, yes, really not a lot of great options there you when it comes to, play, to uh, let's play. handing it off. Uh, I like the gamble stack over towards A. It will be in vain this round. Is back towards Here. B main. It will go Nova. They've got that tour de force in hand for Beefy. He's looking to lead the entry off of it. Uh, best of luck to you, soldier. You we'll shoot the turret with one. Four, three bullets left. This second will come through. We can just read that one early. Cosmic Divide to send them in. Spooky will trade the grenade. front of it. So he's going to get that information. Now we're going go down towards Switch to guarantee the door is going to stay open. He knows that they're all going to be towards Sight. No trademarks behind this go around. So the Omen's going to have an easier time on the flank. Plant's gone down. Nova yet again have gotten to the B site. They're going to plant down. This time their post plant is going to have utility. It's going to have guns. Can they win this one out? Oh, good trade. already early movements being made. Wake Tech is just so good on these first initial gotta kills. Wilts, though, he's got himself a nice little position here. Here comes the Killjoy lockdown, and Arsh removes Wilts, the only man who could really threaten it. Stuck on sight. Beefy is not long for the world, wants to teleport himself back to safety, but it's not meant to be. Wake Tech is just too consistent, too dominant, and already heading towards a ridiculous scoreline at the half. 10 to 1 so far. There's only one round left for Nova to double their round score on the half. Good lockdown. Forces them out, makes them have to get aggressive there. Wilt's the only one with the opportunity to shoot that one down. We talked about the fact there's no trademark, which means you can walk up B main. Even if there was a trademark, Beefy's already at the round, so I mean, it doesn't really matter. So, no, he's not. He does last. So, if there's a trademark there, P10 doesn't get to walk around, doesn't get that paranoia, and Wilt can shoot the ult safely there, but he's looking to shoot CT anyway, so I don't know what the implication that really is. We'll never know, I suppose. And if we get into this last round, you see a buy come up here from Nova. It's not the greatest buy in the world, but, uh, you know, I like to say that we work with what we got. So, see what they're able to find off this one. We've gone back to those first couple of rounds. We saw them scale up a long, scale up cat. No zero point this time. They've waited it out. So, they've got some space to work with here. They'll be undetected for at least the moment. One we got to come through. Stagger's got to work through this one. 
Not gonna be easy for him. I like that they're putting someone back before they actually try and hit the A site. Arsh getting taken out here as well it is really valuable. Oh, big has one. rolling thunder from the side. This is gonna really push them off the angles. Nunu gets one with the ult as well. This is what Nova needed, just taking advantage of how many ults they have stacked up this round. Sif though doing a good job holding for the push. It's him and one more. They have three to take down here, but they've done crazier. Low HP on the Astra as well. That's the KO. Just trying to hold them off heaven. They see the first one there. Oh, and KO even making a move to try and get himself in an advanced position. How long do they take to get back onto the site? Wilt puts himself out in the open, evens the numbers. It's 2v2 now. They're isolating these fights, perhaps giving them a little bit too much wiggle room. Fairy Tine is able to get the first, and he's just dancing right now, playing with his food. Sif has to get on the bomb, but he's got two different people to find at two different angles, and they are just not giving him any free real estate to work with. He's going to get pulled off the bomb. Not long for this round. Just hope, hoping, praying anyone gives him a little leg to show, and Nunu, he'll finish the job. 10-2, to two, no one do a good job of cleaning out this last round, but is it too little too late? Uh, many would argue yes. And the believers, the real ones, would argue no. <laughs> it's never too late. Only eight rounds. The pistol gives you two. Then it's only six more. Sure, it's a mountain. But nothing that a couple ropes and a couple picks can't climb. This squad can get themselves back into this one. A couple picks on the pistol would make it just all that much easier. Beautiful post plant to come through from them. They are so very patient on it. Just a little jiggle peek. Just a little room to force you to get off that spike to never allow an opportunity to really start that diffuse. They can't get it halfway. They also can't get any peaks off of it. So disciplined, so well played. If they can do that now on the defensive end, anything is possible. One way to come through early pull as well for the Astro. That's two stars gone instantly. Just keep that in mind. Oh, they only bought three because they bought a ghost. That's one extra star for your controller, that's it. A lot of little jiggles, and I love the cautious play early on here. Berry time. Just waiting for someone to get close enough. Hiding in his own smoke. The classic. I love that Nova's willing to just cut all noise here. Or, uh, Wake Tech is just willing to cut all noise here. We saw this uh, a lot with uh, a team like DRX, where they would slowly creep up throughout the map. Really just cutting as much information as possible. While slowly strangleholding you, and... They always had they had a fantastic uh, attacking side on this map, and you can see there, just moving up enough to take down that uh that chamber utility. You can see the reaction it causes throughout the map. Two players already heading towards CT, willing to give up a little bit more. And now as they move back up, Cat, this A site is especially vulnerable. And unless Nova is willing to to make take risks, make sacrifices, try and regain some of this map control. Look how look how far back they're stuck right now. It's it's a not a good spot to be in. Barry time is right outside the doors. There's so many players aggressing on his position. Wills will be able to get him back with the fragment. But look at him. He's staring down the barrel oh, too. No. He's about to get oh, shot in the back of the head. No. The flash is good though. Arsh is blinded up. He can't make it happen. Look at the low HP though on everyone. He'll get staggered down. And there's a few more players right around the corner that can be taken out with a single right click. It's going to be Wilk the next up to the plate. And he just gets headshot, ripped apart. Spooky Tech's going for a few jumping shots. It's cheesy as ever, but I like my first rounds with Provolone on top. He's about to get taken out here. And there it is. Sif is the man to do it. 11 to 2. Wake Tech. They are knocking on the door of that solidify at least the overtime with one more round. You're supposed to say enough. You're supposed to say enough. You just kept grading. The cheese piled <laughs> up harder and harder on the post plan, man. You're supposed to say enough. You're supposed to say that's good. No more, no more cheese. It just it kept coming. Mike Tech will take another round. Nova definitely a team that uh, has not been able to say enough here in this game. Force by hopefully will be the answer for them because uh, right now they are the ones getting graded and tossed up into the salad so looking to toss things up here on this defense as they're early up towards b main this force i don't know if you read it if you're wake tech you should to be honest in fact this team is looking at what could be match point and they're just fighting scrapping out this b main you know they have to not let them onto the side or else this retake is gonna be so Bop. hard beefy with the head hunter does just that to get scalped and that could be potentially weapons recovered from b main 
if Wake Tech doesn't actually guard them. If Wake Tech wants to rotate off here, that means they're sacrificing a whole lot of weaponry. Oh, oh a third no. beefy, are you kidding me? It's Taco Night B lobby, because that boy's got he's got a little beefy with it. Nova believers. Here. Stand up. Oh, it's just looking for a peek. Revealing area. Keeping the rifle in hand. Honestly, throw it off the map, big dog. Don't give it to him. Okay. Oh, oh give it to him. Go on ahead. Where was that last half, though? I mean... My boy, what you been saving it for? Who needs it last half when you can just do it for 11 rounds in a row? Or 12 rounds in a row? Wait, 10 rounds? 10 rounds. Make it 11. 13 to 11. Surely that's the plan. Alright, so bonus that round as well. Successful. 11 to 13. Uh, 11 and 13. Beefy's popping the leaderboard. The only Nova player over double digits right now. Here. It's really interesting to see how different these two teams play. Spike Nova showing so far. much. Spike's kind of far away. <laughs> if they get the pick and try to execute, they're going to be late. Okay, there we go. Util, Util sends them off. Oh, oh back wow. to the spike. The chambers walk through mid. Hello? Beefy is a freak of nature right now you, with his headhunter, although I'm not really sure about that. Enemy Lost in translation. You always want to make sure you're backing away with your gun pointed to angles that could still be peaked. Taking mm. out the knife that prematurely will result in a, a whole lot of sloppy death that don't really need to happen. Very time now. Just trying to stall out this push for as long as possible, and this smoke is going to be a real huge help with that. The longer they wait at B main, the, the quicker these rotations can come through, so... Very time doing exactly what he needs to at this point, and Wills very nearly gets taken out of the round. 20 HP. Very time does know there's still presence here, too, just because of this, uh, this killjoy utility. Can't really be active unless he's in range, so... Wow. Sif is trying to draw rotations, but it's a lone it's a lone ranger type mission. 12 seconds left in the round. Arsh is able to get one with the shock dart. That's huge. Nunu does drop. Sneaky check with the headshot. If that's the bomb going down, they simply don't have enough time. And oh, they were the ones trying to sell the fake. Sif just gets watched like a hawk. It's not gonna happen. Arsh gets put down. And Wake Tech. They drop another round here to Nova, who is, you know, a little, a little hopium. Giving their fans a nice, a uh, nice healthy dose. Tristan, they crossed you up just like they crossed themselves up. Sif sat fighting Garden for 30 straight seconds. They start to rotate. Stagger starts to leave down scaffold. Sif throws a zero point and throws a flash, and they say, okay, we're just going to stay. Like, the, the rotation, when it finally starts to fake, because those two are sitting there being main, and they finally, the Astro utility, they finally get it out to start pushing forward. Sif just makes contact again, and they don't rotate. So they just, they're throwing this really weird unsuccessful double fake and they just kind of play themselves yeah and it's like he throws the zero point because he wants to establish if anyone's on the site but at the same time if anyone's on the site the 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 fake has already failed so there's no real point in, in throwing the knife regardless the sif just uh like you said a little bit a uh, little bit of played yourself moment there but you know what happens it happens. 11 to 4 now. You see heavy A presence from Wake Tech right now. Alarm box. Interestingly enough, I mean, Nova just uh, showing little to no presence B side. Can't use that, that could come back to haunt them though. If Wake Tech make this full spawn rotation. Placing swarm grenade. Boogie Check's doing a good job here. I like that he's still throwing the utility though. Just making sure they show a little bit, uh, a little bit of presence to keep them on the A site, and you can tell here already. B is being so heavily pressured right now. There's no one mid anymore, but Beefy can make such a huge impact with this tour de force. He's already got one as he moves through the smoke. He sees the other with the dark. 
he wants to push this so badly, but Wilt is making himself known as well. 14 seconds left on the round. They have That's to bomb onto the site. They can't do it. The headhunter gets another beef. He is ridiculous right now. And Nova topples Wake Tech for another round here. Do you start to believe just yet? I'm having sloppy gills for dinner. I'm going to the store as soon as the series is over. Beefy has awoken something in me. It's like he's awoken something in themselves. I, I'm I'm lost for words. That tour de force shot to put down that slow field to lane wins them that round single handedly. Beefy's just spamming through smoke, looking for an inkling. Says I can't get it. Walks forward, takes it all on their own. Pichu falls, and that that wraps the round up right there in a nice little bow. And then just add an extra head under shot just to, to add some salt down into the pan as he cooks them on up. Wait, I think tech. that round as well kind of displayed how important mid control is on this map, just because Beefy was able to rotate so quickly off of mid, knowing that there wasn't anyone there. And uh, just springing through that smoke, he gets that luxury afforded to him just because he doesn't have anyone to worry about on the other side. Dagger now tasked with holding off the inevitable cat push. Although when Pichu's on the front lines with the Sheriff, I would never really truly feel safe. That is what until Stagger decides to uh, put an end to that himself. Oh, now the aftershock. Omens has to get out of there. Just enough time on the shadow step. That was scary, though. Glad they made that faster. Two months ago. Just two months ago, you did not get out of it. to come through. Stagger will peek for one anyway. Spooks checks. Has to back up out of that one initially in that spray. They do have that mid control still. They can walk into it and they'll recognize. Zero point to recognize markets clear. They've dark covered the way forward as well. Oh no. You don't have to do them like this. Footsteps heard by Beefy, even though they are indeed mid market. So of us have the time to get to the back of the B site. So we're gonna have an opportunity to spring. You could give a rendezvous just in case someone wants to peek them through dark cover. Everyone going to work their way towards site though. 20 seconds left for Wake Tech. They have to push into this one. All Nunu really needs to do here is stop the plan. The round should be about over. Swings haven't found anything just yet. Popeyes to come through. Good 180. Looking for one more. The dink. And Beefy will swing through CT Stair to wrap it up. 6 wow. 11. A flawless round for Nova. The Antahiko quite successful. They give mid away, but that's all they give. So they still have more than enough control. That worked. And Nunu really uh, bringing himself back into this game. I believe he had like maybe one or two kills at most the entire first half. And now, 6 so far. Slowly clawing his way back into this game. That last round with huge impact kills as well. Yes, it was the eco, but just making sure that they don't have the chance to get the bomb down. Stalling out for the team. It can really save your butt sometimes. So, this time around, two players willing to fight A main here. This could be some early fireworks. And wow, that's big. Very time though, using that one way to his advantage. Pichu will get nothing for his efforts here. Crazy enough, I mean, on Ascent, when you see the highest tiers of play, Ascent is not so, not nearly as CT side as we're seeing here. But it just looks like both of these teams are so clean when it comes to actually guarding against a lot of these pushes. You have to really cross your T's and dot your I's, and Wilts is making sure he crosses their eyes with a couple bits of lead. Two headshots, one at extremely low HP. This round is all but done for. Nunu. Just thank you very much. Nerfed or not, you had like 5 HP. All I had to do was shock you with the little static you get off of rolling down a slide. Almost stuck in the corner. The dart is there. His head is not. 11 to 7 now. Nova, one step closer. We talked about a mountain. They have their hiking boots on. They're scaling. Yeah, you mentioned just coming through right now for this team. They did play for all the extra utility. They played the Astro strictly for that defense. They've got themselves that triple initiator. So it's like it's just so hard for them on the attacking side to be able to actually get into sites. But now they're on the defensive end. They can stall forever. And I mean forever. There's never an opportunity for White Tech to get in. They can't just dash Peach you into site because there's never going to be a refrag opportunity. There's so much util stopping this Wake Tech team from actually being able to work around that entry duelist. So it's going to come down to not just them breaking utility, but them being able to break players as well. Breach fault line comes back. He's been good about not using flashpoints early. You have to really go kill players. You have to go get this Astra here because she's not throwing down stars early. She's throwing down very reactive stars to make sure that they're stopping early. They're, you saw those dark, or not those dark, you saw those nebulas come through. You're seeing 
those poles come through as well. Those gravity wells towards them actually trying to take sight, even throwing the Nova Pulse out when that gravity well does go down to cool down. So they have an opportunity to really push through and they can't get an execute setup. It's going to come from getting more than just util. It's going to come from getting picks. This is looking rather rough for Wake Pick, despite how things have been going. Eh. Oh my goodness, this man is really cleaning clocks right now. Obscuring vision. With everyone, I mean, there's still so much, so much a uh, presence A being shown here. Cat main lockdown rotations coming over. They're really gonna have to find. I like how they pivot both the cat here as well. Pichu is able to take down one with the knives, but even then, the numbers advantage still heavily favoring Wake Tech. I mean, uh, Nova, I should say. And maybe he heavily favoring is a little bit dramatic. It does mean if he gets that headshot, you can kind of see why. It's just the amount of presence they have towards the site, and they don't have time to rotate off. Arsha's stuck with two seconds left back towards main. He's only got the eagle in hand. He's gone from the round, and Nova is just making it look like Wake Tech have no answers for this defensive setup. This is a good time for a timeout. Huh. Back to the gun round. This is a good time to take a timeout. Because realistically, you've got two options, right? You either try to bait this utility, try to find the picks, and then take space, or you just go. So at this point, I don't. I honestly want to just try to burst execute this thing. Mm. And what better way to burst execute than a uh, Kale ultimate? That being said, though, offensive Killjoy ultimate being committed early on as well. Perhaps overkill, but they just yeah, really want access overkill. to this site. I mean, they need this 12th round at this point. Because uh, you're about to get a null command back the other way, and you're going to get Kali and Vi going down towards main. So, uh oh, that makes things just a little bit concerning. And you don't have that lockdown anymore to try to stall for that extra time. There's a Kali and Vi going down towards oh, main. Null command Kali next Kali. to get popped. So, they're going to get that front of sight. Main players, the lineup players, are cut off from this one early. So, it's already a disadvantage onto the site. Suppression comes early towards Jen. Do they read it? They do now. No. Trades to come forward. Advantage right now for Wake Tech as they're somehow able to hold up on the post plant. Still gonna have that util to work with as well. Sift to peek towards hell and we'll find pretty wow. much everything into this round. A 4k from the KO sitting hell just cleans up shop and get the ults coming in. The only thing is you don't ever throw that null command. That zero point only hits one so you still get an additional zero point from Sif, which means you don't have the utility coming out of the door there so when they come out of door they're taking just raw peaks and they start to win early but they do not win the peaks towards hell that was chaos and i'm really still not sure how wake tech managed to win that especially with the cosmic divide cutting off the a main players but i mean if it works it works wake tech finally get that all important 12th round that we expect to come so much sooner still nova with eight on the board they can very easily take this to an overtime if they keep playing as solid as they have been that being said though we have the run it back a main not really much presence being shown towards cat here so they're just gonna try, try and have to run through this we've seen this plenty of times before beefy though getting bested by spooky checks out towards mid that is something we rarely see and that creates a huge hole in the game plan suddenly market is so much more exposed they have to commit the sova drone the sova drone doesn't tag anyone omen teleports on site they have complete control of this. It has to be up to Barry Tyne out towards main. He has to put his foot down and put a stop to this 5 oh. HP on one. He's just sitting in his own smoke. And this is massive. How big can you go if you're Barry Tyne here? He's getting flanked out by one. He's got the first, a quick <laughs> flick, three on the round. The Odin is singing. Spooky checks may have gotten one early on, but he gets put down. Nova stands tall when their backs are against the wall. The last player standing gets toppled as well. Nunu hits him with a headshot, and that is the lifeline that Nova needed. Barry Time bails them out. That's the exact play you're supposed to make there. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> that's the exact play you're supposed to make there if you're Barry Time sitting in the smoke. Is gonna get absolutely flanked by the jet there. Kills the first. 180 full spraying and is able to find the second as well so there is no flank any longer what on earth man well nine. It's, this is a three round game by the way 
this is a three round game nova their mental has to be sky high right now knowing how how hard the odds were stacked against them but wake tech can find solace in the fact that they just need one of these three ahead. remaining rounds just a single round and they have themselves the overtime that they've been looking for no every no. time ridiculous You know, there's a lot of, uh, I, I believe it was Tens, that uh, during Masters, he started asking, whatever happened to the Odin meta because of how strong it was on this B site? Well, perhaps the Odin meta has never really left us. Maybe the o the real Odin meta was the friend oh, we made along the way, that, Pichu! Oh, and Stagger gets another. This is a big flash Huge right flash. here. Do they actually kill him before it goes down? Can he make it back to Cat? He just narrowly does at 50 HP. The Rolling Thunder is still there. He even picks up Good the off juggle. and juggles it away. Look at this man's mechanics. So responsible. This Rolling Thunder feels worth it. There's no extra utility here. Die, you give the op up. Ooh, that'll hit everybody too. That'll hit the main player as well. All three get stuck by that. That kills time. 30 oh, seconds left on this one. We'll take one. Frag to come through from Stagger. Find the second of the round. Op picked up now to go towards main. Just leaves that jet there. Stuck by the Astro Utility. And again, the Nebula going to be there. Only 20 HP. Dodge the shock, but you do not dodge the fault line. So extra time taken off. 15 seconds. You can get to site, but you certainly can't plant. And you gotta find two players, even if you were able to get there. So all you're saving is a Marshall here. Might as well. Honestly, just die with this thing. You don't really want to marshal next round anyway. You recognize the dash of the site. <laughs> Dead to right. Because Wiltz has that one. Happy to take the extra frag. Troubles 10 to 12 as Nova still walking this one on back. Finding so much value out of that rolling thunder as well. And Nova is really impressing me with not only the fact that they're mounting this comeback and they're playing so, so uh, cohesive as a team, but the fact that they can keep their mental in it. When you have a half that brutal, it is so difficult to really lock yourselves in for this many rounds in a row, and Nova is just doing it. That's a, I mean, that definitely goes to show the experience of the squad as well, but this is a bad situation for them. I mean, they're going for this quick hit onto A again, and look how little bodies there actually are off of this site. They're going to have free access here. Beefy, luckily, is keeping an eye out towards mid, so they, they pretty much know where all these fights are going to be. They don't oh, have a lot of late too. lurkers as well. The Hunter's so Fury... going to be a straight-up retake. Hunter's Fury came through so early, immediately got suppressed, too. So they got one shot out of it, and that shot got no Ooh. value. This Hunter's Fury, a different story. They'll tag Wills for one. That last tag, nothing else. So you just one run. tag, and not going to have it to deny that plant any longer. We'll have the lockdown. Force this team. you got to push this right now, or you've got to wait. They've locked. They've actually wall-banged that thing. Very time to pick it up yet again. The Odin meta coming in clutch with Pichu. Wow. Clutch to find two. Pichu has one as well. And just looking at a door player now. Door player gone. Scaffold player will fall immediately afterwards. And the 3k to come forward. And all that pro progress to made from Nova is in vain. Wake Tech will win it out regardless. 13-10 scoreline. What an ending. What an ending. Really just... They don't go out with a bang but with a whimper. And I mean that last round... You kind of have to expect a quick hit somewhere. I believe that's why we saw such a such a heavy stack towards B. But, I mean, fake, a, fake it till you make it. They fake him out. Hit him with a little shuffle move. End up going A with all the ultimates and all the pressure. And they just hold fast. That's how they won both the rounds they needed to. It wasn't pretty that second half, but they got it done. And a win's a win. So that being yep. said, we will be heading to a short break. But don't go anywhere when we come back. It's going to be bind and a potential haven. We'll see you then. Welcome back, welcome back. We are here with map two of our best of three grand finals of the NJC AAE. I am joined once again by Catnator. Cat, we're heading into Bind. How are you feeling about this map? You know, I'm feeling pretty good, Tristan. Bind's a map that uh, got, got some slight changes back in the day. We got a, a box that went from up to down, and the map didn't really change that much so it's a map that's been pretty much the same since inception it's been here forever it's a map that you're gonna know how to play regardless i will say there are some interesting controller combinations and we saw a team whip out in astra have a lot of success 
Unfortunately, that success did not mount the way they would have wanted it to towards the end of the game, but was pretty successful in mounting a pretty solid comeback just last map. So you throw a Viper now into the mix as well and play double controller instead of your triple initiator. Th things might look good for you, to be honest. I, I really don't think that's a bad pick. We'll see where they want to go with it. I think there's a lot of options right now. I think kind of anything's viable on buying. It just comes down to how you want to play your strats. But it's important to remember the fact that Nova was very good on the defensive about making sure they could not get into Scyther or Wake Tech. And Wake Tech was very good about making sure their retake was strong in the same elements on the defense. And so they have a question now if they want to play hard for the defense too and get extra defensive rounds, just like Nova did. Or if they want to go, uh, we'll throw double duels, we'll throw a jet, we'll throw a raise, we'll try to really jump into sites. Looks like their call here is going to be to play that hybrid comps. So they can kind of do both on both sides of the map. And Nova, same sort of story. They've gone Viper only. Uh... Not too bad, especially going over to that A site. The Brimstone will help as well. Um, they kind of get an option where they want to put that if they want to float it towards CT, if they want to move it over towards A site as well. But the value going to be there. Most Both teams might actually run this one. So we'll see. The rain is the, rain is the interesting choice in the pocket, especially because of how strong Nova was on the defense. But hey, it's each their own. And if, if they can get frags off of it, then it should, it should be all right. Yeah, I'm not too much of a fan of this nova composition just because they don't have a sentinel no one's going to be able to watch the flanks and right chamber is one of the most valuable agents you can have on this map i believe he i, I don't remember what the exact win rate was but when one team has a chamber and the other doesn't on bind it's a pretty it's a pretty high win rate i mean i said that for the last map though and, and nova did lose with the breach so maybe we're just defying all expectations today but I mean, there's just stark disadvantages to not having uh, the chamber on this map uh, or, or the cypher. So your flanks are always going to be open. Um, Wake Tech, if they, get early, uh, if they get early control, they can really easily start to rotate behind you. And, you know, you just get that, you just get that lack of security, especially with the chamber. Because chamber, if you're going B, you can, you can just set down a single trap and it cuts off the entire flank. It's pretty ridiculously mm. strong. Um, so... You just lose so much value by not having a pick like that on the map. We'll see if it comes back to haunt Nova here, or if they can just brute force their way onto the sites with that double that double blind composition. Well, why speculate, Tristan, when in eight seconds they can show us? <laughs> We'll see uh interesting toxic screen coming out early typically we see it go down to give a short control followed by an orb that will go towards vision denial in terms of u-haul this time they've kind of smoked themselves off in a play to that smoke and uh see if i guess actually two soaps to a site that's cody smoke that's going down in too short they've walked right past it's so already into the site they're going to be trademark gets poisoned orb in the back end so there's two on the flank that it will not be known about so hold on to your horses for that one arch has found the first pick Wow, they just it's a far right on the site. The rotations are coming in so late because they had to go from the flank. Sending both flank may have just taken a little bit too much time there to support the cavalry hadn't arrived, and Wake Tech takes full advantage of that. Yeah, no, we're gonna be stuck towards a short now with those last two that were indeed on that flank. Push forward now. Fl great flash to come through. PG to pick up one second right quick kill for them. Wilt flash to buy themselves just a little bit of extra time. Not dies a strap, no, so we'll take damage off the nade. Finds two before going down, but inevitably Wills. Arch will pick up a 2k. Wake Tech 1 0 in the series, 1 0 in map number two. Yeah, it's kind of a it's kind of a both sided argument there. You get that flank comes through. They are taking their sweet time, but they're walking because they just dies at trademark. If someone's still short, you don't want to get caught by that. And then CT players just they come out so early the same time so rotation takes a little bit of time the flank takes a little bit of time but they don't really give them the time ct i think it's just a lack of communication there because they're already swinging through before that that flank has made contact if that flank makes contact you're going to get players attention pulled you're going to get them to turn around and then you're out ct clear so they just don't really play off one another quite the way you'd want to there yeah i completely agree and if trademark actually didn't go off they, i believe they smoked it. yeah they smoked the poison orb but that being Poison said, up long quick. They are really putting the pressure on Wake Tech here. Nova getting forced all the way back towards Elbow. The nade pushing them even further back. I love that Pichu is spamming the smoke as well because you're just making sure there is no chance they actually get to spring through that smoke when you're not expecting it. Spooky checks. We have the next one to light up Beefy this time around. We have a very long flank Nunu coming in, but by the time he gets to this site, 
Trade not sure how two. much they're gonna have left in this tank. And as every time tries to move out here, he actually gets one look in the wrong direction. Pichu will just turn himself back around for a free pickup. And Nunu recovering a pistol. Ooh, nice little ding for himself there, but not before Spooky checks readjust the aim to clean up this round. They lose one on Wake Tech. Pretty darn efficient, if you ask me. So Bulldog gonna come into that bonus. And Spectre is rested the way through. Pete's gonna be looking at maybe a sheriff if uh, any of my teammates would like to buy me. But it looks like they don't at the moment. So classic only for the Viper. Uh, GG's only. Good luck. Spike's still in spawn right now. And it will be collected. There we go. That's gonna mean the default's late. Toxic Screen's not gonna be there because the Viper is the one to go back for it. So they're gonna play out a short kind of dry into this one. They got the flashes to work off of and they're just going. Oh, There's yeah, the screen. Go. Ooh, Aftershock to pick up one. Spike. Wow. Pretty rare that you see an Aftershock getting a kill this early Pushing on. Pushing a shower wins. That's a Vandal picked up. I mean, Wake Tech is just so good on their on, on these Most early, down. on the uh, their first Run half. Destroyed. This is the second time they're winning a bonus when it's pretty rare to see something like this. Already the lineup's being uh, being given up to all. I mean, not really much of a chance for Nova at this point. The fact that they're playing for lineups and they still manage to get all the kills as well. I mean, this round is pretty much done and dusted as long as these lineups hit properly. E2 even makes sure to get a headshot. He's greedy. The entire team is. They start to move forward at the final headshot. And Wake Tech off to a rip, roar, and start yet again. Yeah, we talked about this a bit in the agent select, right? Nova's real prowess there on ascent was entirely on the defensive end they just a good job of spacing out making sure wake tech could never really get out you know they wanted to play off pichu that entry duels who had a phenomenal time on the defensive end when he could pick his fights but when he wasn't able to get through because of all that astro utility all that breach utility nothing was able to really go their way they weren't able to make any spacing and they just got stuck in the default they can never get out of it can never get an execute set up this time since they've played much more aggressive utility as you called out there in the agent select they can't stop the push now Wake Tech knows that. They're playing off it just, just as quickly because there's nothing to stop them. So, no, but you got to think, okay, we got aggressive utility. You don't really have the utility to hold site. Do we play potentially for a retake? Do we play off site? Do we give them the space? Because that's the paint shell's already gone. They've already came through. The shrapnel's gone. Everything like that. That's the raised utility that's going to stop pushes. Sky smokes out. That's the second one of the round. Only one more to work with. You've got one more sky flash. Another one will recharge in about 30 seconds as well. But other than that, that's about it in terms of your defensive utility. Yep, and with that, they blind long. They're going to get plenty of info there out of Wilts, but info is one thing. Actually stuffing the push is another, especially when they're right next to a teleporter. They don't actually have to commit to this, but instead out comes the showstopper. I hope you can hit your first shot, because if oh. not, Pichu just blows the roof off the building. 42 HP, and yes, they are getting collapsed on from all different sides, but I mean, with the three-man that man advantage this early on, it doesn't really matter how many flankers you have coming in, because you are just going to have your angles watched by several members. Very time, just trying to get out of a bad situation with only a marshal, two marshals in their collective for the uh, Nova Armory at the moment, and at the moment, they're getting that number shortened. Down to one left, Barry time. Not even sure if there's much of a point in saving at this point. But we'll see if he can escape the round with his gun still intact. Do you even want to? Realistically, do you even want do you want this gun? You want that one? You don't yeah. want that gun. Okay, you can get, one you get that one. Better. Get a sit towards CT. There you go. So value in some regards. Either you die with the marshal or you live with the vandal. And that's the better of the two options for Barry time. Get that one out. You're going to have ult going into this next round. And... I'm surprised they didn't try and chase that gun down a little bit harder just because of how much money they have to spare. I mean, it doesn't really hurt to toss a few white rifles to the wind, honestly, but either way, a single rifle collected from Barry Tyne will, uh, I'm sure he'll still be happy with his consolation prize. Zero to four, Wake Tech looking fantastic thus far. They're going against rifles again, though, so Nova, this is their chance to really stop the momentum in its tracks. An early Viper's Pit try and siphon off that short control. Okay, so we do have that value on the defensive utility. Fake will come down to Toxic Screen. One will pull off that rotation. And they do play a bit more off site this go around. I do like that call. Just you, you can't hold sight in this comp, bro. 
and they'll recognize. So they're going to give that spacing. They got secrets for the retake as well. Oh, that will will not hit the sky. So the sky can work up towards elbow. It's just going to hit that brimstone. It can still throw smokes if it wanted to. But they're already at the site. So it doesn't really matter too much. So I will come through to spot three. Has three towards Octagon, one towards site. That's all the info in the world you could possibly need. Now the sneakers to come through. This retake should have easy space. So they know exactly where these players are going to be. Oh, look at the double lineups, dude. Ridiculous. Well, they're back on site. They're diffusing as well. But how long before these molly lineup to play? I didn't even get that molly off, I don't think. Snake bite to come oh, through. Okay, snake bite into the orb right now. Molly's come out, should drop at the same time. Still gonna get on the suffuse. They're still diffusing. Looking though. to hold. Tanking the molly. Now the molly drops, so they'll die to that one. The snake bite tanking, I mean. We also pick up one. No the drop way. down on accident is Nino. He'll fall. No way. Still not to start this defuse. Sif will come through. You have to hold this one. You have to help Sif oh. doesn't swing. Tries to. Wilts will pick it up and point nine one left. The lineups, they get walked through. And Nova, they barely, barely hold on. They give the side away. They play the retake. And that's going to be their friend moving forward in the rest of this half. Wow. Uh, very lucky that the Brimstone Ultimate wasn't yet available. That could have been bad to worse there. Um, I like Wei Tech playing for the playing for the Molly lineups as well. They they do get spammed quite a bit through the smoke though. Not really a lot of players uh, left to stall out there, but still, lost bonus reset for Nova. They really have to start stringing together a few rounds if they want to keep their economy strong. You can already see Nunu only able to afford the Spectre this round, so really have to keep up their winning ways here. Ready Viper talks to screen again. We'll go towards that ace site. They're going to scale up towards shower. Contact that we haven't seen yet this game. And it'll come through now. Spooky check's going to win that one away. That's some spacing to be made. Fake this toxic screen going up. You might be able to pull rotation. The brim has to rotate. No choice. That site and control are going to be there to help. And that means there's pretty much no defensive utility on B yet again. It's a question of where Wake Tech wants to play this one. Yeah, that early pick towards bathrooms just opens up a lot of different angles onto the ace and you can see the viper re-aggressing trying to take back some control here but that leaves short just okay. wide open they have a single player heaven and if that gets smoked off not really a lot of people there to actually stop this push from coming through Oh, and they could just be playing. They, they're slow rolling this as hard as possible. Smoke's coming towards A, faking it towards B. I do like this. I cut noise for so long that you should you should read this one for Nova in terms of the actual burst execute. So they work the exact opposite direction. So they've read that they've cut noise for so long, surely that they're gone. And they didn't actually throw the smokes. They thought about it. They didn't throw them. They went up for the execute instead, which means that there's nothing selling this fake. It's just spooky checks. TP to come through. The read's been good for Nova here on the defensive end of things. Wilson in the sneak towards Cubby to pick up too early. Fire Sith's gone down. The Viper does not get swung either. A Sith able to hold on. The bodyguard for the president that is going to be that Viper. That means Plant will go down the pit. Sith, huge double kill to make this possible. Nunu to swing out towards Sight. Has the opportunity to completely disrupt this round. Very time to pick up one satchel to come through to disrupt the Brimstone. Doesn't quite catch it on the angle though. Viper spit denying too much vision. Getting decayed quite heavily if you're new into this one. Has to be careful of that snake bite. Gonna be caught the orbital strike. Barely able to get out. One HP walks what? into it. Sim will get a 3k off of it. That means just the Viper to play with here on the defense. Barry trying to pick up one. A second what? as well has the read. We'll catch Sif off guard and Nova will find their second round somehow. They make the retake possible. Barry time not in the head. Letting them know. What just happened? Barry time had it. No vision, Call that the no sound. baby fuse, and just big brains it. Here. He just, I, I'm upset for Sif there. Like, I, I would be, I would be tilted. Check him PC. This not normal. Insane stuff there. I mean, mm. <laughs> what more can you say other than that? Nova. Yeah. They get themselves. An absolute miracle to win the round there. Very time now. You see the early picks going the other way. Spooky Checks was the one to get that last round onto Beefy, but Lightning will not strike twice. Beefy now moving very far forward. Just fishing for some extra presence. Anyone thinks to check the bathroom push is the question. Maybe now. He's going to get pushed off the angle all the way out of Hookah. But a lot of utility committed for that. Oh, and this is just bad to worse for Blake Tech. Yep, another one going down here. Slowly getting pulled apart by Nova. 
we will pick up one to go with it, and that just leaves that spike towards ramp. Sif waiting on the world to change. Hawk has not come <laughs> through, so that means there's not going to be a flash to go with it. Classic bomb. We keep on waiting, waiting for the raise to swing. Just swing, taken down as Nunu us that Sky Smoke does fade, but Cody will recover things quite quickly. This is the benefit of having two players on the angle, means an easy swing to come through for the refrag. Three to four, so Nova have adjusted on the defense quite effectively. Opportunity to break Eco into this round. Get that economic control for themselves. Is Wake Tech gonna go off of that rebuy? Three to four. And while Wake Tech was looking so dominant early on, suddenly they find themselves in a position where they're about to be forced back onto Eco. Spooky checks will be going with the Tour de Force this round. I believe he bought you for Pichu there to make sure Let's Pichu could play. afford full armor. Spike See how much value he's actually able to uh, define with these limited sniper shots. That's a good spot. Teleport getting placed all around the map. And interestingly enough, despite getting pushed from bathrooms last round, they don't really commit anyone to bathrooms. They're willing to just give that uh, give that station away. A little bit of chip damage will be softening up several players. Paint shells tend to do that when everyone's in a choke point. That'd be two. Mm -hmm. No armor left. That's actually pretty significant. Patient play all around here. Very time though. If he's still here by the time his orb goes out. Yeah, the burst is coming right after this orb goes down. That cooldown's gonna be there. There's no more gas to be had, no more fuel. Wow. Wow. Very time to pick up two though. That's a good two for one trade. He should have one back to get towards lamp. Beefy to trade one in the meantime. So Spike will go down towards site. There's time to get back onto it though. No one able to pick it up in the meantime. Beefy swung around farther outside of shower. Peachy went to the angle and Beefy to hit that shot as well. Will overheal for the troubles. Gonna have armor right back in the pockets after that devour that just leaves spooky checks in that 1v4 tour de force in hand unlikely nova will give an inch here and most certainly will not holding those very very passive angles that was so difficult to hold as very time there the fact that he was able to find two is pretty insane i mean as when you give up your location with those first few shots and can't hit the raise satcheling onto site Usually that just means the rest of the team runs at you and kills you. He checks going for a little bit more, but he gets caught with his hand in the cookie jar, swapping out the weapons. Um, but yeah, usually you just die if you can't hit your first few shots in the raise, uh, blast packing onto the site, because the rest of the team knows exactly where you are. It's a pretty easy swing and hit, but two kills playing short there. It's very tiny. 11 and 5 now. Really, uh, really showing the power of this Viper pick. Mm. The default from Wake Tech. This go around gonna go towards that B side. Wonder how far this new swing is. Okay, just a jiggle. Information gonna come off of the rover as well. Still gonna be on that contact angle. So a lot of pressure to be had here. Talk about the fact that Nova's retake's been pretty dang good. I mean, I guess they do have that on-site defense going towards A, which makes them feel just a little bit more confident. But it comes off of that utility of the Viper as you call out Tristan. So this go around, they don't really have that same util. Sky Smoke will go down. At least towards long to kill just a little bit of time as these players can't get their way into Octagon. They'll sit two towards the ramp right now. You knew been a player who's been playing through these smokes, and you can tell that Wake Tech have their read on that one. Second go around that he's been this close contact, has been this close into an orb. They're really going to make that spacing an option here. Lurk to come through A hasn't made contact just yet. Might be a scenario where you try to get this contact from the chamber. And then a hit to go through the B site off of said contact. He's just now gone to site. And he's won it as well. Beefy swings through for info. Spooky checks will pick that one up to a shower. One TP to come forward. Or the team will work market. Nunu has the read, has spotted them as well. Very time to pick up one to trade back and hold on to this A site. Viper's pit as well. No easy plant. Peachy's picked up one on Nunu trying to rotate. A lot of pressure on Baritine's shoulders, and I won't have to do much. Just we'll TP right back. You're so split here. These Seekers are really doing a lot of work. Viper's now able to suss out the location of Arsh inside the Viper's pit thanks to those cabbages. Arsh just kind of has to leave there. 12 seconds left on the round, though. As the ults come in, Cody is able to get Pichu down, but the bomb is dropped. And it doesn't matter if Arsh were to go down to the A site because they already have all the control of B that they need. Very tight now. Makes the teleporter sound. It can only be a one of two directions. And the entire team can just set up a firing squad.
Not a lot of time to work with either. I mean, mm, just so much to do if you're the Viper here. Doesn't really seem possible, but perhaps just going for a few exits. The time. Walk not away. No exits, and we'd rather have the rifle than worry about it. So we get out of trouble. We get out of danger. We won't TP after either, so Viper is gonna get that gun out the round. We take happy take another one four to five wait tech back in the lead stumbled for a bit there but this mm -hmm. is a this is a decent chance at re-establishing themselves everyone able to afford to buy in this round so rifles all around the board Money fairly low for both teams at the moment. Off your feet. Oh, quick action oh. towards short. The rolling thunder Attack very one. early on. Doubles back just to make sure there's no me. lurker's bathroom. But Pichu, he'll be on the front lines. He sees the foot of Beefy. It's a little tango here, and Beefy meets an end. Very time just sitting outside of bathrooms, was hoping to get more. The multi frag just not gonna happen. Spooky checks is able to trade it out efficiently. Four, three to four now. They try and move back onto the site. Arsh does take a fair bit of damage, though. Oh, out comes Pichu with the showstopper. He was such a huge factor in that first map. Back again to just be a thorn in the side of Nova right now. Still, the numbers hold strong as Raze trades out a kill. Three to two. Bathroom player going to be taking the fight. Nunu wins it again. That's two already on this retake so far, but the lineups are there. Oh, that nade. Time is ticking down. That nade is Holy massive. Nade. It kills both of them. But, like oh, he didn't stopped. line it up correctly. He can still get on the bomb. This round is over. Nova wins it off of heroics. Nunu absolutely goes berserk that round. It's a magnificent grenade to come forward. There's absolutely nowhere to go there. They've isolated those angles. They've gone through Cubby. Uh, nothing's here. Nothing's shower. You guys got to be outside a lamp, and the reed's going to be there. Nade will come through. We'll find both. There's just nowhere to run there. I mean, you can technically wide swing that, but you're swinging straight into both crosshairs. So, beautiful checkmate scenario, and they'll go ahead and win that one out, taking the queen away. And it's five to five now. Rebuys for both ends of things. Here's Pookie Checks, the only one a little bit let down in terms of his buy. Looking at uh, nothing but a classic. So, best of luck to you moving forward. As Wake Tech yet again are going to put that early aggression over towards B. Oh, Pichu wants his fight. Awesome. Eating the boom bot there. Nunu does not care. Gonna lose quite a bit of health for his troubles. Okay. Spooky checks now holding for the bathroom push, but you're gonna have two players that have to rotate so far to actually get to this B site. Wake Tech decides to call things off though. Down a man early on though, as the long trade doesn't quite go their favor. No information being given. Oh, Wilts is out in the open. He can't make it happen. He gets a second one as well. Wilts, that's ridiculous. Spike TP. I don't know if we wanted the TP. So they're separated oh, right double. now. So we each will walk back through. Teammate will come in market to help. Double rotate players over off that TP sound. First round, they no set up. But you already have a player under window, a player elbow. The crossfire is quite nice, and they'll be help from tube as well. They baited the noise. They've ran away down hookah, so you have this read, or at least you should. That's well for Nova. They'll cut noise and walk back. 20 seconds, though. If you, got, if you want it, you got to go now. If not, oh, saving. you're saving. Surely saving. Oh, man. Nova is showing up in a big way towards the latter half of this map. Which, Wake Tech, I mean, I'm sure even if this is a 7-5 to five half, they'll be happy getting five rounds on the attacking side. But Nova really starting to step it up when they need to the most. And I, I still don't know how Wilts managed to come away with two there. I mean, he wasn't even looking the right direction when they first aggressed onto the site. A difficult task, to say the least, but Wilts steps up to the plate. Him and Barry Tyne have been the saving grace of Nova so far this half, combining for 23 kills over 11 rounds so far. The 
So we'll get the gamble sack going over to the A site. Surely they don't come B again. Well, surely they do. Wave tech will be back for another round here. If they can get through quickly off this contact execute, they'll have that Viper's Pit to go down towards site. And that'll be the play for them going forward. Play gonna come down through Hookah right now. Nunu taking it out waves. They go ahead and pop that showstopper as well. Barry Town will be able to TP to take that one away before it even needs to come down. Virus Pit is on to site, but the retake has happened before it really even needs to. BP and Cody about to pick up one player towards Cubby. Wow. last alive. And Spooky Chuck's gone just as soon as he gets there. Barry Tyne has that one. 7 5 for Nova. Quick adjustments on the defense's end for them. That one started off rough, but they turn it around quite easily. Have a phenomenal showing in the back half. Now they have to take all that momentum, all that energy going through to halftime. Yeah, just really well played all around the board. And now it's Wake Tech's turn to mount the defensive here. Really good stuff, though, out of Nova um, to close out that half. It looked, they looked to, I mean, the, the early rounds have always been so dominant for Wake Tech over both of these maps so far, but Nova can make adjustments. Their shot calling uh, as the rounds go on seems to improve. And that last round there just felt like everyone knew what they needed to be doing there. Nunu with a fantastic fight. Hookah, the quick TP for support from Baritine. And Beefy just walking himself into the Viper's Pit knowing that there's so much chaos. Hookah, he can kind of get in undetected. Nice little lineup there. An early orb down short. A lot of really nerdy stuff you're seeing so far from Baritine on this map. I like that Wake Tech is doubling up bathroom here as well. A lot of space to try to waterfall out here for Nova. They've taken all the way up to Octagon. There. There is that toxic screen there, but it's a little bit hard to comment, especially if they take this early. Dude, here's that. Yeah, that's the bracer herd from Sif. So one known towards Cubby. It's up to the elbow player on the crossfire. Oh, the now really missed, oh that is so unfortunate. Spikes defaulted outside A short. They've taken the space. Someone's got to be able to come recover it. And no one's really set to rotate this just yet. Beefy to pick up one. Devour to come here as well. Doesn't have the second player, though. Certainly gets shot in the back here. Finds one for CT in the meantime. Oh, okay. Recovered. Two checks will pick that one up. Picks up the share for the troubles. Uh, with the head under shots, I don't know if that's the best gun for you. Okay. Change my oh, mind. Oh, wow. Spooky will find a second. Has, has saved the day here. Means that A-Site rotate no longer going to be viable. Third to come out towards shower. Early towards side is going to be Cody and now gone 3k for spooky checks massive hero plays into this round Wills will start the TP. They'll get there in time plant gonna go down as well See what utility wake Tech's gonna have for this retake because there's certainly a bit of post plant potential guiding light gonna have the info on CT players if they want it This is difficult over the box Nunu gets the first the flash is picture perfect and Pichu is caught in the Kodak moment Say good night eight to five Great shot calling there from Nova to hit that TP at the last moment. Just having barely enough time to get the bomb plant down. And that secures them the round. Fantastically done there. That's really what you need to start off your attacking side if you if you want to have a, a much easier time closing things out. Because we all know once the defensive, uh, you know, once the defense gets rolling, it can be pretty hard to break. So getting these early rounds is crucial. Thumbs going straight to Shutterfly. Into the picture book it goes and... Advantage continues for Nova. They took the momentum from the back half. And they've kept rolling into the pistol at the very least. Up short early is going to be Wake Tech. Stopped by a snake bite. Cody going to stop him even further. Very time to come through <laughs> on the other side of things. So no one able to get out of that early short positioning. Just funneling straight in to picks oh. right now. B10 to step into the smoke and caught by Beefy's Vandal. So walking to site. Site going to be clear. Plant should go down here. Two will be on the flank. But converts that downgraded utility. So not really looking for much or not expecting much at the very least. Yeah, when plays like that work out, it looks really insane. Um, but a majority of the time, they're going to end up turning out, as you saw there. Beat you, though. I mean, nice little pick from him to salvage what could have been an absolute wash of a round. It still was fairly, uh, kind of been a wash, but it was uh, kind of like a little bath. Yeah, sprinkle a pond. A little gentle lathering, if you will. Mm. Nine to five. Nova looking for their double digits on this round. It is the Not bonus here, bonus. so we'll see if Wake Tech has an answer. If they can Death. make this as clean as possible. You don't want to lose too many of the big rifles here. 
you don't have crazy bonus utility, so this one should be fairly simple to be picked up for Wake Tech. Ooh, that nade early. We'll send Pichu out of Hookah. It's utility gone for the offense, though, and none for Pichu just yet. Okay, we'll pop both satchels to uh, immediately negate everything I just said. And the nade goes through with it. So there is the utility gone off of the B site. We'll see how Nova wants to play off of that one. Still going to be defaulting their time towards a short. Hey, good job from Nova to get that, that much utility out early on. That raise nade, especially in the B site where it's so small and compact, can really do a lot of damage, so. Yep. Lee are going to come out towards Hookah, and we talked about there's no utility here, so they've read it you? quite perfectly. They play this one quite nicely. Set to pick up one, and now gone. That's two rifles. Just gone, done, dusted away. Post plant will be set up, chilling. They've stacked up on the firewood and looking to burn down this round and burn down the eco of Wake Tech. We'll see if they have something to say about it, because this one's not going to be easy. Disastrous mistake there from Pichu to not shoot out the blind. He thought he could tuck into the corner and get away from the blind there, but... Instead, he just looks a little bit silly standing out in the open like that. So many angles to check here if you're Wake Tech. They try and put oh, out the oh. is good. The second is there as well. They are just locked in right now. And the third one is just stuck in the tube. Barry Tiny is able to get one before going down. Wilt has something to say about it. It's him versus the planter. It's just the pistol and Wilt is able to clean it up. No, but once again, it's the heroics that do it. Individual plays are what brings them over the finish line. And Wilt is the man to do it. 15 and 7. He has quietly crept up the scoreboard with some fantastic plays. And when it seems like whenever Nova needs Wills to perform, he does just that. Has the ultimate, has the ultimate available now. Beefy has the uh, Empress as well. That's only going to be contested by the Tour de Force. I'm not even sure if... I mean, Spooky Checks will most likely use it here as it is, you know, a, a great eco ultimate just to try and make some impact there. But man, oh man. Wake Tech really has to start putting some rounds up on the board here. Oh yeah, most definitely. That one just comes down to oh, firepower from Willis to wrap things up. Beefy. Firepower is still early. Beefy will take down that tour to force four. Couldn't even get cooking. Which means there is no slow field going into this push. And they're going to run it down. Nunu will pick up one. It's P10 trying to make something happen. Just stuck in that near stuck in that near site. Can't get any sort of value. One close towards U Hall will be Arsh. Stake right now gone. The push will come on. Beefy not able to get that frag as Barry Town already has it. Now we'll get a second as the judge player going to fall. Looking to finish out the round, and they've done so. Barry Town picked that up for a flawless 11 5 for Nova. Starting to feel themselves here on the attacking end. They switch things up in terms of composition. They play less for the defensive. They played hard onto the aggro utility, and well, it is working out like wonders. They're reading quite nicely as well. Little bit of tea baggery at the end of that round. Always in good spirits. Fun, good fun. Freetown has 19 and 8, by the way. This is not something you expect to see out of a Viper. Makes it all the more valuable that he has this many kills. The fact that he's providing all this utility to the team as well. You know what's interesting? What's what interesting? Sova on this cast. I wonder if there would have been a Sova pick if this was pre nerf Sova. No, why Sova? We can run it down site. Fair enough, fair enough. We'll also pick up one. Is Sif going to fall? Has to move out that Molly and is going to get caught out. He's just a spooky check alone towards site. It swings for one. We'll rendezvous oh, away as well. Barely. Seven yeah, so low HP. Plant's gone down. Virus pit as well. Nova going to have a good, wholesome time on the post plant. Yep, very time. Big Viper's Pit is going to lock out most of the site here. Full team can just play around it if they want to. They're just going to try and pull it off the site. The spam is there. Beefy with two, though. Quick succession. Cody with one as well. He has the Odin. He's going to have a field day. It's such a, such a convenient ult for him. Second headshot, and Nova completely locks Wake Tech out of the round to get to 12. They are quickly steamrolling through this game and trying to push us to that decider map. Yeah, 12 to 5, massive victories for this team. They've had all the answers going into this one. You haven't really found much. They'll pull two judges out to the side of Wake Tech, just trying to switch things up. But we will see if D 
these players can find themselves anything because it has been it has been a tough map for them ever since those first four rounds did come away they've got ults that are almost charged up they got to get picks to charge them though that's crazy to think about after those first three rounds they went on an 11-1 tear nova did and that's just going to show you how ridiculous this team can be when they're feeling themselves what got them to nine no they seem to be in full swing right now three to three not so much of a dominant early round as they've been having so far but we'll see how this post pans out for them the dog just making sure to check all these smokes make sure there are no little snakes in the grass Cody now just looking to spray people down he has this ver his first victim and check the other two back towards hookah and nunu just cleans him up a tippity tap a one a two and it's 13 to 5 nova take it in convincing fashion they're looking better than ever and heading into this map three i'll say this much haven plays a lot more like binds and it does a sense so yep. with that and the momentum nova fans i hope you guys are standing up because this is the ball is in your court <laughs> i love the trade of map picks we just had nova picks ascent has a rough showing early turns things back around just can't quite finish in the end 13 10 the score line there we walk around we play bind it's the map pick going forward for wake tech they just can't figure it out 13 5 ends up being the score line there now we go on over to haven so i put nova on the attack and we'll, we'll see how things transpire after the break because uh these two teams they're gonna need it uh wake tech maybe maybe more than nova but uh when we come back we've got one more map to go to decide the grand finals winner here in the ngc double a e don't go anywhere Welcome back, welcome back. We are all tied up here at one apiece, heading into our final map of this Grand Finals. It's going to be Haven. Game, set, match. It all comes down to the wire. I am joined again by Catinator. Cat, how are you feeling going into this map three? I'm feeling good, and uh, well, one side I think is feeling, feeling very good. It's Nova had an incredible showing just now on bind. It felt like just everything worked out for them. The reads there defensively, offensively, just absolutely tanking it running it down, having the space, having the reads, recognizing where that defense is going to be and using that utility like that Brimstone Molly consistently a clear cubby to get them space towards B main and absolutely having a go of it, having a fantastic time. And to your point, before we threw the break, you said, Haven, it plays a lot like Bind does. You're absolutely right in the sense that you start getting that control early, you start to scale. If you can scale, you execute. It ain't too hard to come by. Whatever it's going to be, we get that two prong. We almost get a mix, a hybrid of that ascent bind play style. So it'll be interesting for sure. But I mean, if I gotta make a prediction here, Tristan, I might, I might throw this one to Nova as we jump into agent select. Oh yeah, Nova is a. Uh, they have all the momentum on their side. They have the experience in these grand finals. They have plenty of. Uh, they've been here before. They've they've been in these situations before, and so I can. You can expect them to remain calm and composed. And whoa, is that a Mr. Beefy hovering the latest addition to the roster? Okay, okay. Nah, man. It's just uh, pivoting off it. Your glasses weren't on. It was raining. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, Wake Tech, a fairly standard comp here. Yeah. Um, just a single duelist in the in the jet. Um, yeah, I like that comp. Sometimes, sometimes, honestly, it feels like Chambers like a half duelist, anyways, just because of all the yeah. all the angles he can take with that um with that teleport. So it's not it's not like they're they're completely lacking the firepower. They definitely have a lot of utility. Their retakes are going to be fantastic on the side of Wake Tech with the uh, breach omen combination, especially with the Sova as well. It seems like they have a lot of wiggle room. Nova, interestingly enough, not actually going with the jet here. Uh, picking up the Reyna and the KO instead. So we have fairly different compositions, all things considered here. I mean, really, it's just the uh, just the chamber that's mirrored on both sides. So, I mean, this is this has got to be one of the first matches in a while that... Oh, no, Chamber Sova. Chamber Sova. Okay, two. Still, even then, pretty rare you see uh, compositions that differ from anything more than a pick or two. Absolutely. Get the Reyna... Yet again to come out for this team, and well, if you if you, if you feel good about it, and you just had a good showing, why not bring it back again? And it's gonna have to find value most definitely. It's gonna mean they don't 
have the extra two flash the extra true flash excuse me that you get from that double initiator but i mean since sif is running a sova instead of a sky or something like that it's it's the same sort of sense that they're both gonna have that one flash to work with you know the paranoia either though because you are running that brimstone so that'll make things thing that'll make things just a little bit interesting on their attacking side same story for their defense but as long as pv can hit the shots it will be quite all right we have to go down C long early. We rarely we get to see it. And then really C long push. But Pookie check is right into this one quite heavily. First had another shot not there. Has to rendezvous away. Leaving just the rim towards side. And Archie's getting it run down. Ooh, good fault line to stop that push. That is a big fault line. They're still going to try and force off the site. So it's got to be up to the shots. Hitting Beefy though. Gets the all important first kill on the Rainer for the overheal. And it looks like this steamrolling has gone just the way they wanted it to on Nova. It is always terrifying to try and spring through after getting fault lined like that. But still, their courage will pay dividends. Do they actually expect this flank to come through, though? Look at Long right now. This Omen could have a field day if the timing is right. But the time, the price, neither of them are right. Pichu now has a lot of work to do. Three members staring him down. Somehow gets away with the first kill. That buys so much space for the Omen. And now that he maneuvers back towards Garage, he's going to be able to support him from the other side. He... Wow, such a quick headshot! Pichu is ridiculous right now. He's got a teammate covering him as he gets the bomb lower and lower. And even if he gets the kill, he's not going to take the diffuser down. On 2 HP, the Omen gets away from it all. And wait, heck, that's a retake for the ages. A retake for the ages and a retake to reset momentum for this team. They could definitely use that after that 13-5. Like the pistol early. Pichu back doing Pichu things. Going to go ahead and buy the Vandal yet again into that anti-eco round. It makes that bonus a little bit stronger. Same story with the Bulldog. But they've got to keep both guns alive in order to do that. We'll get just two sheriffs getting picked up here for Nova. See where they want to take those. Right now, I'm going to look to default outside of a lobby. Early dart's gone down. Has scanned the jets. That's, that's info on one. Nunu going to get it more than just info here. on spooky checks. Has the pick. That's a Bulldog down onto site. Think they can get in. They have that for free. Oh, that's Huge a big aftershock. aftershock. Wow! Arsh does so much damage to the entry there. They are not getting the bomb down like this. Beefy just gets swarmed from all sides. The knife is pulled. And Beefy has suffered a stab wound like he lives in the like he lives in London or something. <laughs> well, us British people tend to walk <laughs> out with the knife back of sight. And not only does Arsh get the aftershock there, but he starts spamming through to the right side as he smoked off from Link. Recognition there that well, if I after Shinnok's sight, they either gotta go left or they gotta go right, and somebody's this and to go right. So the player that goes right, he's able to spam that one down. He gets two picks for his trouble, so the team can just comfortably walk out of A-Link. So these guys have to be close. They're close indeed. We have the firepower. We have some specters. Let's gun them on down. They'll get three guns out. they get rifles as well. Two rifles out of that round going forward for Wake Tech, so they're still gonna have a bit of bonus potential into this one. And you see at Nova, they so patient on it. We get a Sova trying to bait for the breach into Cubby. That'd be a dang good bait though, because Arsh uh, definitely looking like he'll get checked right now. Jump think he's gonna be there. Good swing, Ooh. gun picked up. That's three rifles now for Wake Tech on their bonus. Yeah, and that really goes to show you that just baiting for a teammate can really, uh, really set up a lot of nice plays there. That uh, Deagle shot really didn't have much of a chance of landing if it wasn't for little jump spots. So, great team play there. Wilt as well getting a nice entry for Nova. That's going to crack open this A site. They only had a single, oh, a second player here, actually. Let's see how much he can actually get. Two on the round already. That's crucial. You have so much time for the rotations to actually get over. And the fact that he's still being a thorn in the side throws out the paranoia. Does eventually get evaporated, but takes a lot of health with him. Nunu. 29 HP, can't survive much. The Rolling Thunder just to buy time, just to use that for the re-entry. Sif is able to get the first and... So much util. Yeah, still so much util to be used. The second player on low HP, the shock darts there as well. We manages to narrowly avoid those. Now they kind of have to start worrying about long a little bit here, but Arsh thinks better of it. Just going to stick that one out. And a very confident we retake from Wake Tech, just knowing what the limitations of their agents. They get those two rifles out of their anti-eco, send them through to their bonus. Arsh grabs an extra one for his troubles, going down to C-Long, which means rifle picked up, 
Ult Orb picked up, and then the actual Ult Orb picked up too, which means Rolling Thunder is available. They use it to get into that retake. They find the first loss in translation, nothing you can do there, and then they're able to walk their way over to A short and win out that duel. Not really much you can do as that last player alive in that 2v1, especially with so much util still on the table for Wake Tech. So they've broken the eco early, they've got the confidence going early as well, and they've quickly recovered from what was that buying game as they look to carry themselves forward into this one. Beefy's bought a Vandal. Hey, uh, it would be the random player to do it, no, Tristan? You know, Wake Tech has the first three rounds, but uh -huh. so far every map they've had the first three rounds. So this really doesn't, uh, you know, it's not quite as convincing, oh. but oh, here we see already. Nova did a two-piece early on. On the other side of the map, though, Spooky Checks was able to get the better, I believe, of the white jersey that was that went down there but oh that suppression is so huge denies so much ability beefy as well empress up just sit here another molly there i believe the brimstone yeah is available all this stalling power is just You're just waiting for this recon <laughs> such a nuisance to deal with Oh, as he gets impatient, Wilts will take both if they peek through for the recon. Sif will use his scan to find one. Knows his crossfire is going to be the option here. Has to just look for the 180, can't find it. Pico to come through from Nova. Well, Beefy buys up the Vandal, finds a value, is going to make it happen off the entry with help from Long as well. And Wilts will pick up a weapon to go with it. So they've got two Vandals out the round. They've equalized economics. And so much so that Wake Tech can't really get a safe buy here. They've got to buy down. They've got to play for next. And the story of Wake Tech continues. Win the first few rounds. Win the bonus as well. And then Nova starts to turn up. We'll see how this story ends, though, as the first two maps had a very different plot twists. Who has the knives? been very effective thus far but oh baby that looked like it hurt wants to go out for another takes advantage of the dash I had to kind of use a dash there though uh, after the jet nurse you don't get much of an option once you queue it up you best get to using it very slow and methodical approach this round you're getting a lot of space up B though there is not a single soul on this site. Instead, they opt for the garage control. Drones being trained off. Uh, drones being traded off here. We see Silva for Silva. Revealing area. Close cubby going to be in that chain. We're going to pick up one. Ooh, the rest of the team wow. will manage their business on the site. Sip and Arsh to pick up those next three. Noon will pick up one on the Jettis. They slow fall down to CT. And 1v4, though, on this chamber. Rendezvous totem is picked up. 20 seconds for those things can come back down. Toward force surely not popped into this one. Spike in sights. Players not quite yet. Flash to come forward. And I will give the info away. You know, to swing regardless. Doesn't have the eco to lose the weapon here into this one, but sometimes just, you feel yourself going to get frags. Paranoia got to come down as soon as that peak starts. Get pulled from behind and through the wall as well. <laughs> Shock bolt to wrap things up. No room to breathe there for Nunu there. Um, really good combination. Just making sure the paranoia comes through. They have the guaranteed blind because the omen can see him on the map. And then from there, he's just stuck in the corner and gets absolutely lit up like a Christmas tree. 4-1, to one, Wake Tech, a great job as Nova tries to spring through the garage area. Two players just staring at them as they move through the smoke. Mow them down, and the money is crumbling. And uh, the housing bubble has, has popped for Nova. As a result, you want to play, the, the buy isn't the worst. Play. The Tour de Forest will cover for uh, Nunu. So he has a, a chance to make a pretty big impact this round and a few rifles to come out as well. Ooh, just gets away before that suppression can stop the dash. So much space taken here to come Wait, down look towards how far up this breach is, so the Exactly, way. there's is... so much information off of that. They know that there's no rotation just yet. I don't really know what the jack oh, no called player. on rotate for. Ooh. Big frag though. 
such an odd read going on right now. Beefy gonna walk into heaven. Will win that fight against Beefy, who's got the hard angle. Breach will walk away. No trademarks to stop as they're gonna break that one off. How many players go back short to try and stop him from the flank, though? Bitcoin's gonna throw on one. Just gonna play through CT. We got a hunter steering into this one. Recon's already gone down. They're gonna push off of it now. They don't clear towards hell. And Barry Tyne gonna pick up three. Oh, Pichu, wow. three of their own. But gotta find the ace to win this round. New Vandal picked up to avoid that reload. Dash window now up. Finds one towards short. No one fall in the second just yet. Tap to go down. Looking towards long right now. It's dark cover. Now spots both towards short. But too little too late. Wilts has the headshot as well. 2-4 for Nova. Not getting away from the spike if you're Wilts. But at least the Sova will. Infinite knowledge is power, right? Just not knowing where the second player is, you can tell Pichu is just nervous constantly, turning his corner back towards Long, checking over his shoulder, always looking in the rear view mirror, but what did he know? He had a he had a buddy and a half right in front of him, but you could definitely see Arsh's, uh, Arsh's flank, or his potential flank was really threatening to know over there. Barry Tyne just goes nuclear, though, getting three on the retake, being the, being the front lines and still being able to get that much value. It's a lot of information. A little bit of a fake out towards A here. I love Nova's patience here. Oh, Spooky Checks miss, misses the off shot. That should have been a free kill. Honestly, Arsh has the close angle, but Beefy gets the better of him there. A second player to try and collapse on Garage, but Stagger, he's quick to trade out his teammate. No one goes unchecked here, and the seaside is cracked wide open. Cracked wide open. Set up for this post plan. We'll see yeah. what they have. Uh, what they have in mind here. What's written up in the playbook? Only a single player is stuck on site, completely alone. Yeah, Maybe they be, have a pop flash. It'll be that oh, orbital strike going down to sea long. Calls for the orbital strike. The only thing is that there's only one player on site. They don't delay a super long time. Right so they've kind of given away that site control. Could be the Molly to come in early. Still hasn't gone out just yet. He let the half come through. That Molly's not even going to kill him. He's got plenty of time. Okay, well, that oh. will if he sprays through instead. So Pichu going to fall. Now the orbital strike can work. That got so dangerous. They've held on. It's half right now. Orbital strike doesn't even need to go down. There's one more dies to the Molly. Stagger will walk through to take down P10 as well. 3 4 your scoreline for Nova. Dangerous. Dangerous risk coming down towards C Long, but they've won it nonetheless. Everything goes right for Nova. They don't need to use the orbital strike. Everyone gets away from the bomb. They all get to keep their rifles going into this half or this uh this round. I mean, really, what more could you ask for there if you're Nova? That looks scary Definitely. for just a second. But then as the as the uh the bomb ticks lower and lower, they start to realize they're still in the driver's seat. Damage there from Spooky. Totally get out. This okay. There we go. Been able to get out. Trademark broken early. Nova still want to push this towards grass, even though they've got that early contact. Now they'll change their mind. They'll pull back off. Reset the default. Mm, that's a really good point. I think Wilts was throwing the fragment instead of the knife. Gave him just enough time to get that TP out. Nova just had a pretty clear disadvantage now as the 4v5 ensues. But with limited weaponry on Wake Tech, they're going to be looking for a thrifty here, which is a lot easier said than done. Nova does a great job of information denial as well. Omen has no idea how close these players are and could get caught off guard, could get caught sleeping on the angle, and that's just what happens. Doesn't let a shot ring, though, before he goes down. Very valuable to see it in itself. Orbital strike being used as well to clear out the back of the site. Bomb plant should be all but secured at this point. So it's true indeed. Post plant is yet again. Hunter's Fury will go down. We'll get one tag. We'll still tie. Just that back jumper for the other. So it does avoid that one. Both fans going down pretty early. Reading an early retake. They got a lot of time to come back into this one after this null command drops. They'll drop in 10. One more pulse. Good pop flash to come nice forward as they just as they start to swing. Very time to pick up one. Wilts will have the other three. Beautiful utility. 
4-4 for Nova. They've walked straight back into this one. It's a back and forth series, a back and forth map two. Three, rather. Definitely not the second one. Yeah, it almost feels like you always have to have someone playing anti-flash when you're retaking against a, a KO. That, that flash is so hard to avoid. Especially, I mean, if you're playing against a Counter-Strike player who's been throwing those underhand flashes... As soon as he could, as soon as he started watching the Stewie Two K montages, they've got plenty of experience uh, flashing themselves into a peak like that. As very time, with the entire squad just mows down Peach as he tries to escape towards the cubby. They don't give him a second to bring reinforcements off the site. They just spring onto it as quickly as possible. Beefy's on the front lines. How do you get through it? How do you break through the defenses here if you're Wake Tech? I mean, A, a is such a difficult site to retake if, you, if you're just down oh, in tucked. numbers. Oh, Paranoid to come through to hell, though. Beefy can buy some time. Swing out a Sith to pick up one. Beefy will have the other two as he's able to die. He's out rolling thunder. The rest of the team hold their own pretty dang solidly despite the concussion, though. Five to four for Nova. They grab their second yeah, round. It's so hard. It's so difficult to get back onto that site. Even with the rolling thunder, I mean... Completely stuffed. I mean, re Rolling Thunder is one of the best retake tools you even have in this game. So the fact that it was such a such yeah. a domination, even despite that big ultimate being used, is not good news for Wake Tech. This A site needs to be fixed ASAP. You need to pick up one. Leers come up here and they try to take a space on towards A, looking for this bait. Smokes have come out and do it as well. No one's really rotated off it though. They're still going to be close garage. They'll hear this action come through and Peach with the nice pick up one. Look for a second. They can't take new news. Found it on the lurk. P10 will trade that one back. Nonetheless, they've got to sight. Spike will get picked up and can easily get crossed right back the other way by Wilt. I'm actually going to walk it away. They'll cut noise. The rain has the cut the, Look at it. the space A. Yeah, the anchor's been there. Oh, but look at Omen moving out towards mid. Every time just thinks better of it. No tricks fight. will work on him. Oh, the sub is going to get the angle on towards heaven. Got to hit the shot, though, is the only thing. Trademark's going to be there. So knows at least one's coming through to short if you're stiff. Oh. Opportunity there. Opportunity has expired. Barry Town picked that one up. Sif's gone away. New flank. Will be spooky checks to walk in. Should hear the footsteps of Barry Time. Should know one's gonna be close. Barry it does not time. matter. Barry Time's got the crosshair placement, has the angle, has a shot. 3k for the Brimstone, 6 4 score line for Nova. Orbital strike back online now for this team. Once again, can play heavily for that post plant. Barry Time been farming just a little bit. Barry Time, how is this guy not on a duelist? This guy is an he is a stud on some of these on some of these controller picks. It's very rare you see a controller consistently at the top of the leaderboard for a team. But Barry Time just seems to be extremely comfortable on these picks. Doesn't need to play the duelist to frag out. And I mean, how how nice is it to play this game if you're a duelist Watch and you have your controller just winning you certain rounds by himself? Standing ahead. It's one of those situations where if you could play this level of gameplay frag wise on a utility agent you'd bring so much extra value the sc4 team that's playing off of just that reina you need someone to be a strong support fragger hell at times we got this brimstone acting as an entry so when you've got that element coming through from berry time it just brings so much extra value You're doing a phenomenal job of the control the utility has been great as well the post plant lineups have been great i mean a couple rounds we saw that big c long round we get that molly we get the spray through that dark cover I mean, that's Barry Time doing all the work there to make sure that round gets won. I say give away that site control. So, had a massive impact. Right now, it'll be three on this A site. It's a big opportunity for Nova to walk through. You just have to win this garage from Sif. His recon could spoil the plans. What does it see? Nothing. It's instantly broken. That's the cue to go on this execute. There'll be a drone here from Sif. Is it too little too late? Just the only one on site right now. They're going to look to absolutely pinch this player. Pizza to fall. Dart's going to be there, but it's just too little too late. Only two scans as well. So, It'll get info that they're going to be on site, but it doesn't have extra info to go with. This one of this garage players already walked in towards the window. Yeah, a convincing take for Nova there. And it's going to be real difficult to pry this one out of their hands if you're Wake Tech, especially considering you have no one on the flank. Uh, they have plenty of lineups, plenty of utility. Spooky Checks is able to get the first headshot onto Nunu. 
So a little bit of ground being made up here, but I mean, considering how many players there are long right now, they're going to stall this for so long. TP, though, springs out of garage. He's got one headshot. The second player is there. He's looking for the third. Sees him around the corner. He's got him as well. Beefy is on a rampage. Only one more player. I mean, there's no chance he actually picks up the bomb. The question is, does he escape with the operator just narrowly? Beefy's on his hot on his heels, though. He is chasing to the ends of the earth. That off shot mits, misses. You don't have a dash anymore. And Beefy has his third. A little teabag to go with it. We've seen that before. Decides not to pick up the op as well. Doesn't even need it. Doesn't want it. Pichu gonna whip out that judge and it's giving me uh, the flashbacks to bind. I don't know if you remember Tristan, but as things started to go a bit awry, Chris Wake Tech team, they said, oh, let's, let's see what judge shenanigans we can get. And if you don't recall, this is almost the same way that bind went early. Wake Tech dominant for the first bit of things and then the back half play, really came through for nova and they carried that momentum all the way through the second half of the game as well that's an early wall bang that's come through off the box nova's gonna take all this space off of it already into the seaside they go Ooh, gotta be careful if you're sith through that sky smoke will get to live fragment to make sure no one's swinging off of it what do you have for this retake not a ton i'm just feeling their side how this how strong this sand is. She's spotted by the drone. Lear's gonna be there early, so no one able to get an instant swing. You need to pick up one. That's Pichu to fall. Oh, huge dismiss to stay alive through that tour to four shot. Another would be picked up for Beefy, making a 3k for the rain. I look at the swing CT. Can't even get a chance to come out the box. It's Wilts will pick it up instead for the back of the site. It's eight four. It's flawless for Nova as they walk their way in. I wish we had a replay system right now, because that is huge from Beefy to take the first to stand there. No holds barred. Tour to four shot comes in. Instant dismiss. Comes out of it as well for the repeat. Finds both frags. So dominant on the Rano. He said, it's an interesting call. You don't get the flashes. You have to really play self-sustaining. You have to be able to find frags. And Beefy Will has done just that. You know, we talked about two maps and how similar Haven can play to Bind. It almost feels like it's going the exact same way Bind did. Wake Tech getting the first few rounds. Establishing themselves uh, very early on. Looking to be the dominant force. And then Nova just cleans their act up and suddenly starts dominating round after round and we have ourselves I, was this the exact same scoreline as the first map or like going into the second uh, half because it feels like it um quite recall it was it's definitely something similar we see the omen quickly smoking off the site arch is able to start things off right oh, for no. wake tech so oh no yeah, Crossfire's got absolutely oh. deleted. Good shock bolt to come through, but Sif will come through just a bit stronger. Out of CT is going to be the chamber all alone in no man's land. And now back to join their teammates, the four that are currently spectating as his one left alive for Nova. Barry Tyne, he's been that big player, finding big value. But it's, it's a large ask. Two going to be low on HP bars, but I don't know if this one's doable. Here's the TP to heaven, so could possibly isolate one 1v1. Mm. Oh, nice little play. <laughs> Last moment. It's so, Wake Tech, they're not going to be silenced so easily. That was a very uh, dominant showing on their second half, or on their second round of the half. And that kind of just crushes the economy of, of Nova here. They're going to have to give up at least another round. This A site seems to be a weakness for both teams thus far, and they're just they're just doing the classic optic tactic of hit it until it does not work. Look how quickly they're scrambling to get back to this A site. It may be too late though. Nuno's gonna hear them going. He's gonna be quick to be he's gonna be quick to get right behind them, but there's several players already waiting for this flank. And they could just call it off. They could just move back. I like this containment here. Take out the flankers. No, we're going to give them that space to walk backwards. Do they know about the second flag of Reyna? Beefy to come out to take one. This is back away. Looking for the repeat. Good Sif. We'll lay waste to that one. We'll shut it down. Nunu, of course, the first over the jumping right click. We'll sneak back into window. Playing ring around the rosy with this team. Just killing time in the round. Still towards window. But there's new help on the way. The backup has arrived. What are they good for? Stagger to pick up one. The jump towards window with his upgraded utility as Pichu to take that one away with the Vandal. Now Pete comes out of garage. Very time to pick up one. Tread it out yet again by P10. Well, the gun's right there, but just cannot quite get to them. 40 seconds left on the round. We'll look to play alternative angles, look to find a new weapon. 
30 seconds left and I'll take it to B. Surely plant goes further. Okay, plant will go down onto that B side of the nice ceiling angle. You certainly get a gun here. No reason not to Cover play for this one. Out. It is your eco. And really, uh, no matter what happens here, a very uh, strong eco round for Nova. Ooh, even a bulldog pulled up. This could get sketchy. And because he's cut information for so long, they have to watch Garage as well. They have to consider the possibilities. This knife should kind of give things away, though. Cat's out of the bag. He's moving through B main. Still two players to find. And as soon as he starts making those footsteps, Pichu is quick to spring. Six to eight now. Wake Tech picked themselves up another round. This one's going to be important. The buys are coming through. Wake Tech can barely afford uh, one Bulldog as well. Light armor on a few players. Other side of the board, Nova also has a few light armors. But either way, whoever loses this round is going to be down bad when it comes to uh, when it comes to their bag. Yeah, most definitely. It's a fellow bag chase for myself. Yeah, you, you never want to, you never want to fumble the bag. So important round, economic control going to be the story, and then additional rounds to come off of this one. Dark cover will go down towards garage. Wake tech looking to take this split quickly. This guy's smoking it. Look to dissuade them from this one. Drones come through and see nothing. Garage? Right Trademark here. should be spotted here. Well, not spotted, but it will spot them. So knows about the push into garage at the very least. Okay, it's going to come through. They're onto the C site. There is going to be so much opposition. BB pick up one from platform. Nunu another from the back of site two to come with that. Looking to swing for more. Safe with the trade. Now a second to go with it. Out garage. Nunu with a 3k. Take it back from the backside of Platt. He checks 1v3. First pick found. Second player known about, but cannot win that 1v1. Nunu with a 4k. Trading absolutely everybody on their team as they try to make their way into the C site. 9-6 to six for Nova. And Nova is just so good at being able to hold off these pushes by standing their ground. A lot of the times, the teams would just play for retake. Uh, they wouldn't be willing to actually take the, the numbers advantage fight, or the numbers disadvantage fight as they first move on to the site, but... Nova just plays that kind of confidence. They 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 have faith in their ability. They know if they fall, their teammates will pick them back up. And you can see there, Beefy and Nunu working in tandem with each other, really playing off of one another. Beefy throwing out both of his blinds uh, behind the box to buy more time for the rest of his team. Really underrated uh, thing to do if you're the Reina there. And now it's it's a classic versus a Vandal. How long I don't see any this fate. Do they check for Wilts? Dagger's sure done his due not. diligence. Pop flash to Aww. come through. Wilts for the cleanup. Looking for one more to go with it. Not just yet. Fragment to force him away. Shroud to step to get out of danger for the omen. Top to burn both, but does survive the wrath of the grenade. Sky smoke will go down. Arsh will step into it. Almost takes his life in the smoke, but the chamber not quite going to get it. Zero so point's been dodged all around, so. Short will be clear. They'll know about that as well. Barry Town is pant down with the Odin. Good to find one. Molly to force he can forward. Looking for it through the wall. Damage done. Now kill though. Stim Beacon oh, now out. Stim Beacon plus Omen. Yeah. Stay away. Divi's picked up one on the cross. So that smoke goes come to Christian. Now it's gonna be up. Looking to spam through it. Are both players. He checks with his head under, just holding on, praying. Trap destroyed. Only a matter of time before you step out of this one. Trademark broken. Shouldn't know this is going to be a player stepping into garage as well. 25 seconds. You walk backwards. Caught by a new new flawless round for Nova. 10 6 to your scoreline. Good stuff from Nova yet again. These guys are locked down with their defense right now. Look at, look at the Celtics out there. All set up. Not a lot of ults on the board. Okay. Nova seems to have a slight edge there with the Empress and the Tour de Force options for them. Don't know if we'll see the Tour de Force come out uh, at the moment, though, as he is able to comfortably afford rifles. Nearly the Rolling Thunder, though, on the board for Wake Tech, which is probably going to be their primary utility for really being able to spring out onto a site. Hunter's Fury is up for Sif as well. This can be big if he's able to tag someone with his drone. Unfortunately for him, nothing much doing. Oh, it's the A site hit yet again. Wilt is blinded up, but the suppression will prevent this jet from being able to dash onto the site too confidently. Beefy opens up with a pick of his own. Here's the rolling thunder we were talking about, but doesn't actually hit Beefy in the corner. He doesn't hit the first player. The second one is good, though. He's got a third, dismisses around the corner. Wilt is sprung into action, and Wilt just mows down everyone. 
Beefy only has to get the, get the first before Wilts just comes into action, and he just starts picking apart players. They're a second half team. They're a second half of the game team. I don't know what else to say, Tristan. These guys, they take the first five rounds. They say, uh, 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 they wake up five rounds later, and they say it's go time. And they just do not stop. They get their, their foot pushed, pushed off the gas pedal for two rounds. It's like a stoplight to them. It goes back green, and they're just running it down yet again. It's you the exact same story we saw in Vine. They resulted in that 13-5 here. At least you get a six get round for Wake Tech, but I don't know if they get anything more, to be honest. Nunu will get a leg from the top of sight here. Going to look to swing for more. Ooh, shot not quite there. The Jets got the spacing. Pichu to go up. Flick not going to land either. Pichu to pick up one. Got spacing towards sight. We'll get the rest of the team there. Coming out garage quick is going to be Wake Tech. Getting damage done, but instantly pressured back. So they've got to move away from that one. Very time yet again with the Odin. Garage will pick up one. We're going to spam through for more. If anyone's pushing towards garage, nobody right going here. to be there, though. They've got that null command pop. Looking to get themselves in. Same story here with that Twitter still. Stagger, shock with the pick up one. That's breach utility gone. Because they can't stop this early push. And they're going to swing their way out. Barry time one, Stagger, and another from CT. They've got the spacing. They've got all of sight. The Twitter Force is completely smoked off. Makes it so much more difficult. That Smike, Sky Smoke stays for 24 seconds. Flash will come through, and Beefy will use it to perfection. The pop flash comes through from the KO. The flash point is there. You ain't seeing nothing, brother. 12 6, the scoreline. Nova keep four alive. They still got also work within the next round. They stop for no one. Wilts may not be the highest person on the scoreboard, but as far as MVP for this map goes, I absolutely would give it to Wilts. These pop flashes have not only been setting himself up, but been setting the team up for so many valuable plays. He's getting insane value out of his utility this game. In that last round, you can see exactly why. There's not enough teams in Valorant that utilize the pop flashes as effectively as they could, as effectively as it is in a game like Counter-Strike. And I always love to see just a uh, teamwork a there to set each other up. Three agents being seen towards A. They're going to hear all these footsteps as well. Wilds is already going to put down the fragment. Wants to make sure they can't get onto the site so easily. Even defensively clashing just to make sure he buys as much time. He's walking okay. directly into the aftershock. He gets demolished there. Very Over time does get one. one with the orbital strike. But still, the orbital strike is a valuable ultimate for giving up early on. Hunter's Fury comes through. It's delayed the plant. No tag, but plant stop now. Could go back down. Shock bolt will come through onto the roof. <laughs> so we're going to have to get a, a new guy out for the shingles. But in the meantime, oh, we're going to have a CT for this retake. Fault line will come through from under heaven. We'll get that second Otis Fury out as well. One more tag to go with it, too. Massive That's Civ indeed. Tristan Cass is there. Chill trying to play the way out. Recon will scan both. Knows about this crossfire, but can they deal with it? Stagger. And very time to pick up two. Trey will come back, throw us. Pichu pick up one. Looking to swing through graffiti. And Sif will pick it up instead. From short to 3K for the Sova to 7 12. Scoreline. So Wake Tech. They hold on for yet another round. They've got money for a rebuy as well. Same story for both of these teams. So back into the gun round instantaneously. So. So oh, difficult to retake A through these tiny little choke points. I mean, it's it's almost like you you have to have someone flanking so that not everyone is able to just set up yep. watching the same spots because, I mean, you saw it there, how much utility they could dump, how many eyes were on that area. It's just not an easy task for anyone to get through there. And as they run it back again... Let's see if Nova has something to say about it. Another pop flash. This time they're both just staring into it. They're blinded. They're completely shut in their track. A second flash to come out. Can't react to it again. Pichu just gets destroyed. Wilts is the man to do it. He is that guy. That being said, though, the guy has been put six feet under. This is oh Nova's last round they God. need. My kids was such a good movie. Walks into the room. Zzz, 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 that's what it feels like every time Wake Tech walks into the <laughs> second half of the game against Nova. Luckily, they get to walk into the seaside this round. Got to be a dang good post plant, though. It's, uh, it's your point. It's match point. If they uh, if they don't win the post plant, they they lose the game, lose the grand finals, and uh, ain't nobody want that result. Plant's gonna go down here. Caution here. Yeah, they have begins. a lot of time. The combat will be your friend here for Nova. The issue is they don't realize how much time they have and how much space they have to work with, so they're not exactly taking garage. a ton of ground. Still, two players garage. Planted for them. 
They may just hear these footsteps as well. And that was a long rotation they had to make from A. <sighs> this cutoff. The longer has to they be spend massive. getting onto this site, I mean, the longer this bomb has to take. Ooh. But Nunu, five head, leaves it in a one v three. It all comes down to spooky checks. He has to do everything for his team here. Tagged once by the dart, a second headshot is there. Nunu's the last man standing, and it's all three that go down. The clutch for spooky checks. He is the only one keeping Wake Tech alive at the moment. Ain't nothing like three 1v1s in the 1v3. Spooky Checks loves to have them. Takes the first as Beefy goes to tap. Spike gets a second look right afterwards. And a third to go with it all within three seconds of one another. Recon does go out. Doesn't get info. So not much to come off of it. And Spooky Checks happy to take advantage. Win this one, you break eco. You guarantee yourself another round. Win this one, you get to 10 if you're Wake Tech the game cooking as well recon broke in but not fort scans too no rotations just yet drone will send them into short now the rotation swinging rendezvous there the rain is already here as well it's a full house on the a site so depressing to watch only the two ticks of sova drones i miss the old sova Ooh, the util's out Recon broken instantly for Wilt. Nunu's picked up one as he tries to swing into the site. PP another. Nunu another go with it. A Sith gets instantly traded. Arch front of site. Beefy to swing out for more. Spooky checks. You got to clutch yet again. This time it's a 1v3. The KO's push forward. Does he know? He does indeed. Bring around knife's the Rosie. Edge. It's going to be the call. And Wilt will be the one to win it. The knife's edge. And he'll cut through. 13-8. As Nova, they get themselves. That map three, they get themselves the grand finals here in the NGC AAE. Congratulations to Nova. They take the series two to one. That came down to the wire in a lot of different instances, but Nova just seemed to have that extra pushing power, that valuable experience, the veteran leadership, and of course, a whole lot of solo talent. We saw some individual play go skyrocket for them, specifically Wilt's Beefy. They had their own rounds where they completely take over. And that's just Nova as a team. Not only do they play well together, but on an individual level, you never know when one of them can completely 1v9 a game for you. And so that being said, they are your champions. A perfect season. They were 9-0. and And now in the grand finals, maybe not, you know, wasn't a complete shutout. It's 2-1, to one, but you will take that any day of the week. They are your champions. They did exactly what they needed to. And, I mean, what more could you ask for? Uh, fantastic stuff. They lost, they lost pistol rounds. They, they lost their opening bonus rounds on, I believe, all three maps. Yeah. I mean, it's so difficult to look as good as this team does when you lose all of these opening these opening uh, first few rounds. That is yeah. so demoralizing as well. And the fact that they just they just they just put the clamps on. I know I've talked about their 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 defense, their stranglehold a lot, but I can't emphasize it enough. They look like this unstoppable force when they really get going. And, yeah. I mean, all props to Nova. I couldn't ask for a, a better showing after after they uh, dropped the first of their the first of their few rounds. No, sir. Tristan, you say, what else can we ask for? The only other thing I could ask for is get an interview with one of these players and hear what they're thinking about after taking the grand final. So, when we come back from break, we'll hear from somebody on this team about their win of the season, the perfect run for Nova 10-0 and after just winning grands. We'll be back in, in a couple minutes. Welcome back. Welcome back to the NJC AAE. We just watched a fantastic grand finals that culminated in a 2-1 to victory for Nova as they really tightened the hatches down for the final halves of each map. Catinator joins me yet again, and we have a special guest on for you guys. It's going to be Barry Tyne. What's up? How you doing, Barry Tyne? How you doing? After that 2-1, two two, uh, two to one, sorry, final scoreline, how are you guys feeling? And the first question I had for you actually was, you were a controller fragging out, going absolutely berserk on every map. It feels like, how does the team not have you on a duelist? Is controllers thing you picked up personally and you just enjoy the role more than a duelist? Or did the team just kind of always feel more comfortable with you on that? Mm, I mean, it's a pretty simple role. And I can like, when I'm not on Astra, I can like focus on my gun skills. So I think it's pretty good. Um, if I did play any other role, it'd be Initiator or Sentinel. But it's just the way the roles fit. Everybody else is comfortable at their role. They're the best at their role in the team. So yeah. I'm just filling. Okay, yeah. So just a uh, personal comfort. I got you. Kat, do you have anything for us? All right, let's start at the beginning of the series. Let's start all the way over on Ascent. You bring out 
my favorite <laughs> controller. We get to see her again very time. We get to see the Astra. We feel the yeah. competition. It's very heavy. It's a triple initiator, man. You're going crazy. Uh -huh, You're playing yeah. very heavily for the defensive side of things. And the defense looked good, man. You guys started to come back. What goes wrong there for you guys at the 13-10? It's a 10-2 first half on the offense. Defense starts to look a little bit better. What happens? So we kind of trolled our attack side. Um, we we went over our comps on what we were going to run for uh, Ascent and Bind. We thought it was going to be a 2-0. But we... Um, our duelist player accidentally locked Chamber instead of Reyna. We told him to pick Reyna, and then he wanted to go Chamber on Bind, and like we just flip flopped it because he accidentally went Chamber, locked Chamber, and when we wanted to go Triple Initiator, it was supposed to be Reyna, and then the Triple Initiator with Astro. Ah, that. And we were gonna we were gonna run it down, and then we kind of did right. the hundred thieves thing where we had no duelist, and we just could not get yeah. anything going for us. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Fair. I I like the explanation and. uh I like the fact that even regardless of coming back so far, just nothing in the end, you still come back swinging. And speaking of coming back, you guys felt like a rally team almost. The first five <laughs> rounds, it would be a 4-1 for the other side for Wake Tech. And then suddenly you guys say, you know what? We're going we're gonna to play the game now. The second half of every first half for you guys is on fire. The second half, you carry the momentum. Wh who is it in the game? Who's the voice that's bringing you guys back, that's keeping you cooking after you lose the first couple rounds? Mm, I feel like everybody kind of pitches in. I mean, Stagger definitely tries like helping hyping us up. Uh, Wilts it a lot of times too. Um, Wilts basically just wins a crazy round almost every game, like one v three, one v two, one v four, anything, and then it just gets us going. And then they kind of just the enemies just forget how to throw utility. <laughs> that's that's one way to put it. I yeah. mean, to, to kind of piggyback <laughs> off the off of that is so Nova. I mean, you guys were pretty much. Like, to, to be completely straightforward, you guys are losing the first few rounds of every map today. Are you guys just a rifle team, or is is this uh, is pistol has pistols always been something you guys uh have been a little more hit or miss on? Or are you guys just uh was it an off day for these early rounds? I mean, I think pistols pistol rounds show like the least amount of skill. Like sure. anybody can win a pistol round. It, it's not like what everyone practices. Nobody just hops in deathmatch and runs around with a classic or a ghost. So fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I, I reasonable reasonable enough to me. Um, and one thing I also wanted to ask is we just uh off the back of a huge patch update, a lot of nerfs, a lot of changes to pat uh, to agents coming in. Did that affect your guys' team compositions at all? Did you guys pivot off yeah. of any agents because of it? Yeah, we definitely stopped playing Jet because uh our Jet player isn't comfortable on Jet, so he's he wants to go for more of like a Chamber or Arena, something that like he can still frag out on because there's that dash nerf is huge on defense and it makes it like dashing out or yeah dashing in on attacks really good but like just getting caught off guard it, it completely just kills you and it's kind of useless to have that so sure yeah definitely um cat did you have anything else for us or did you want to toss it over to the shout out Oh, I'm ready to toss over the shout out to Barry Tyna. No, just looking at you, man. Is there a special somebody you got to show love to? The, the program? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, two two people for sure. Wilson, Beefy, they they went ham that game. They brought it together. They they, they stayed focused. We, we lost the map. They kept their mental together, which was good. Definitely helped us win in the end. Yeah, absolutely. Got to show love to the teammates. Happy to have it. And... I mean, with that, that's going to bring us to an end for this broadcast. We have your grand finals winner. It's Nova in the 2-1. Their perfect season continues in the grand finals with a fantastic showing. Thank you so much, Barry Tyne, for coming in for the interview. It, really a great match all around. You look like a demon on those controllers out there, <laughs> buddy. Happy to see you and hope to, hope to see you guys back next season. Inspired by Marv. <laughs> Honestly? After this VCT, I changed all my sensitivities to his. I, I won't lie to you. I was rocking uh, with Crosshair. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, a, I, I'm not afraid to admit it. The guy, the guy is another. I mean, NA just has controller demons, I guess. But uh, that being said, we're gonna get on out of here. Thank you so much for everyone at home who tuned into this grand finals. Happy to have you all here. And with that, this is gonna be Tristan Cass and Catnator, wishing you guys happy Valorant.